Warning, you have entered the danger zone. Snowflakes, beware. For the next three hours, your asses belong to Metal Bully and the Roach. Uncensored talk and the best metal music. If you can't handle it, you must be gay. 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 Yes, indeed, Metal Bully and, and the, the roach. fucking Roach, the <laughs> motherfucking Kakarro. I'm fucking blaring loud, man. The blaring last, fucking last loud, one, bro. Last one, last one on the right. Holy fucking Christ! Trying to blow my fucking eardrums out, this fucking guy. Yeah. yeah, always my fault. It is always your fault. It's always your fault. It's always gonna be your fault. You're Jackass. fucking insubordinate. 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 Where's fucking Steve Michaels at? Steve Michaels, you should be in the chat, bro. You should be chatting. Where you at? Steve Michaels. Where the fuck is FJ? FJ? What's he taking a nap? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that Nunzios? Are you Nunzios or are you taking a nap, FJ? Where the fuck you at, man? <laughs> this fucking guy. He'll be here. He'll be here. Just give him a little bit of fucking time. Give him a little time. Give him a little time. He needs his power nap. Wow, I'll tell you though, we got some good shit lined up for you guys tonight. No bullshit, man. It's going to be a good show. I have a very good feeling about tonight's show. You know? Do you? I have an overwhelming feeling of love for oh, every oh. single person on the, in the chat and listening right now. I thought you were getting a little tingling in your in my sack in the, ne <laughs> in the nether regions. <laughs> in the nether regions, yeah. absolutely. My my fucking my sack is shrinking as I speak. <laughs> It's it's crawling up inside like a turtle head. Listen, you guys, you guys are fucked up too. I, mean, I got a bone to pick with all you, my fucking Facebook friends, so called Facebook friends. So I get fucking put in Facebook jail for posting a stupid <laughs> <laughs> picture of like you know this, the star guy from fucking SpongeBob SquarePants, right? What's Patrick. his name? What's Patrick. His? Patrick. Yeah. I forget. Patrick Star. Patrick, right? So it's. A <laughs> <laughs> So it was a fucking picture of Patrick looking at a JJ and a Heine that looked like Patrick because it had glasses and a nose on it. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking LC is the one who sent it to me. So it's all fucking LC's fault. So, you know, he planted the seed. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking... <laughs> he probably reported me, that prick. Yeah. Where's he at? I don't know. Jeff What's he doing? Fucking picking cola nuts? <laughs> <laughs> cola nuts. <laughs> LC. Where you at? In the Caribbean, bro? <laughs> Haiti. Haiti? Picking cola nuts? <laughs> fucking oh, guy. Man. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna post it once we once we go to music, because Robin wants to see it. Right, Robin? Do you wanna see it? Do you Jeff. really wanna see it? Jeff's like, post it now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, tough guy. Robin said it too. Post it in the chat. Where I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you wait. First, I got a bone to pick with everybody. First, because I, I thought you were picking bones already. Listen, pal, I I come back right. So anyway, I asked this fucking asshole post something that I'm in Facebook jail. Right, worst fucking thing I could have ever did. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> worst thing. So he goes, he posts something. I get more activity on that fucking post than I get fucking. <laughs> Any other fucking time. People goofing on me. <laughs> Sending fucking videos of, of fucking dudes in showers with fucking soap on a rope and, and fucking dropping the soap. <laughs> <and> <laughs> dropping the soap. One Robin sends one with this fucking big black guy behind another guy. And he stands up and bumps into the guy. He turns around and looks. He's like, oh <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you all, man. All uh, having a good time making fun of me while I'm fucking in Facebook jail. Real nice. Couldn't even come back. Yeah. Did anybody did anybody come visit me? Did anybody come bring me a cake with a file in it? No. <laughs> you guys just fucking had a fun. At my expense, you all just had such a fucking great time. It was such a great time. <laughs> such a great post. <laughs> I go and I open it up and click it's as long as my fucking arm. I'm like, <laughs> real fucking nice people. Nice guys. At least it wasn't as long as your pecker. It wouldn't have been much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> At least people love you, right? It would right? have been one comment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no photo. No JPEG. <laughs> just one line of type. That's <laughs> it. Just says type Text. here. Yeah. Text here. Type here. Text. <laughs> Who do we got in the chat? What do we got going on here? 13 in the chat. 
Minus two, because <laughs> we are, we're in the chat. We got DJ Crusher. Oh, yeah. The Crusher. We got, of course, the one and only Robin Rocks. Oh, no. I see a Pollock in the chat room. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Could no. it be? Yes, it is. Betty Mitkowski. Mitkowski. All the way from Poland on our chat. Yes. <laughs> It's probably like, no, I'm in East Brunswick. She's like, I'm not in fucking <laughs> Poland, you asshole. No, I mean, you're from Poland, Betty. Sweetheart. <laughs> I mean, you're from Betty. Grace. I mean, Grace Jones. What's Jeff going on, girl? Baker. Mr. Baker. Oh, we'll get back to him. Don't you worry. Oh. Jeremy Vega. Juan Villalobos. Villalobos. You said that pretty well there, buddy. Probably live in fucking Perth Amboy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? You know? Michael Thomas. Yes. This cocksucker called Roach, whoever that is. <laughs> I don't know who that this is. This other asshole called Bully. <laughs> yeah. The bully. Sounds like a couple jackasses. Oh, I just bumped my head. Yeah, Tom Kohler. Tom Kohler. You don't have to stick your face I right on the monitor. I can't see, bro. I'm fucking blind. <laughs> you want me to read him? Wolfgang Mischer. 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 Um, hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Mis- and Zoltan. Mr. Wolf or Wolfgang. Zoltan Petrov. Zoran. Zoran or Zoltan? Zoran. Zoran. I'm sorry about that. Zoran. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Thank you very much for all being here with us tonight. I'm filled with overwhelming loving sensations for every single well, one of you. Crusher put... Yes, those assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like a jerk off, ain't it? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Block them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Anyway, we're, it's all we're good. We're, hey, we're gonna have a great time tonight, everybody. We always do have a great time in the chat, don't we? Yes, we do. We do. We, we absolutely do. On the air, too. So, listen, we got a great guest lined up tonight. We have the one and only Steve Michaels from Underground Legends Death Mask. Yes. They used to be Savage Choir back in the day in like 84. And I got to see them at Limelight years ago in 84 in New York City. They had opened for somebody else that we went to see. But I remember them distinctly. Uh, and they became Death Masks. So we're going to be getting into all that. Great stuff, man. I mean, these guys, seriously, it's killer, man. I'm Energy, it's like if Exciter from Canada and, and Anvil was also from Canada, <laughs> if they had a love child together. They would be from... It would be Death Mask, <laughs> and they would be from Canada, too. But they're not from Canada. They're from fucking Jer- Jersey and New York. So go figure, right? Go oh. figure. It's a wonderful thing, though. It's beautiful. You have to love it. It's metal, but they have very, very cool band, very, very good guys. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to uh, have Steve on the show. It's an honor. Surprisingly, um, he lives so close, too. Yes, he does. He's going to... Matter of fact, we're going to have that fucking guy come down here. And I'm going to turn him on to my cousins at Scorantino's Pizza. And uh, we're going to get a pie. We're going to get a tomato pie. You know, I started calling did, it tomato pie because of my fucking uncle now. What? Didn't, didn't he say his daughter works there or something? No, it wasn't his daughter. It might have been uh, his cousin or... I don't know. We'll hear it in the interview. Yeah, yeah. Um, somebody that... The cousin, I think. Yeah, family member. Yeah, right? sister-in-law maybe. I don't know. But that's pretty... It's a small world. Very small world. It's a very small world. Tiny, just like your penis. Well, I knew that was coming. <laughs> That's why I was setting it up. That's why I said very small. Oh, yeah. You set him up. I'm setting it up. <laughs> this fucking guy, you know? It's supposed to be the other way around. It's not right, man, to make fun of a guy with a tiny penis. It's just not right. <laughs> oh, man. But you're my friend, Roach. Yes, we are. Insubordinate. Do you guys know I noticed Prick since he's like 16 years old? And he the was Roach? Like, he was like 35. <laughs> go fuck yourself, pal. <laughs> hey, go fuck yourself. I am not. No, we know each other a long time. Good, I'm uh, good, good 30 years. Yeah. I'm 50 going on 22. How does that sound? That sounds pretty... About- <laughs> I'm giving myself a little too much credit. <laughs> yeah, More like 50 going on fucking 17, <laughs> 16. Like 12, 13. Go fuck yourself, pal. Insubordinate. <laughs> Insubordinate. He's hey, he's jolly. He's chipper. He's talking good now. But wait, give him a fucking little while. He's going to be like, <laughs> watch. Let him drink watch. fucking a few of them fucking. He's got these Budweiser's that are almost as tall as him. 
<laughs> right? These fucking gigantic aluminum rockets. You could fucking put propane in them and send them to the fucking moon. To the moon. Planet X. Yeah, Nibiru. It's coming. It's here. It's coming. It's here. It's here. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones will be stopping in later, I heard. <laughs> oh, talking yeah? about Nibiru. Yeah. All right. He's, he's going to make an appearance. He's a good friend of mine, Alex. You got uh, another tinfoil hat for me? Yeah, we can make you one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my own. Anyway, listen, I did mention denim and leather. I got to tell you, I got to get back to Jeff Baker. Jeff Baker got me loaded yesterday. Did he? Oh, my own. He got me fucking wasted. I, I, first of all, he, he treated me good yesterday. He took me to his wing place in, uh, in his area. Where was that at, man? Is that Lehigh Valley or is that over by Brent? That wing place. No, it was by your. That was by your parents' house, I think. Cherry Hill, Pennsylvania, area. Pennsylvania, uh, right? Were we in? Were we in Pennsylvania or Pennsylvania, Jeff? <laughs> Which one? Are you still in the chat, Jeff? Or are you like logged on like fucking uh, <laughs> like, Fer <laughs> like Furman does? He logs on. He goes to fucking Nunzios and takes a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Lehigh Valley, oh, Lehigh. Town. Oh, he's answering. Yeah, he did. All right, prick. I was just going in to check my messenger. <laughs> All right, what was the name of the place? Do I got to go in my messenger and look it up? I'm such a fucking idiot. I should have had this ready. I should have had a copy and paste it. You should have been... I'm retarded. At least written it down. Yeah, well, do you know who we're talking about here? We're talking about me. Yeah, Mr. Unprepared. But that's what makes the show wonderful. Yeah, that's why we <laughs> just go off the cuff. <laughs> Oh, all right, Jeff. Are you gonna fucking tell me what the place is, or I'm in my messenger? Forget it, prick. <laughs> fucking prick. Honey, we had fucking honey hot wings though, and they bring you like a little PJ Willahans. There you go. Now, now Willahans. that I spent fucking three minutes in the fucking messenger trying to find it. Thank you, Jeff. If that's how you pronounce it, Willahans, Willahans, Willahans. It sounds very Irish. I didn't know Irish made wings. Hey, I know he just did, Grace. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so they bring you. So Jeff's like, yeah, we're going to get the honey hot wings. I was like, dude, you pick whatever. Whatever you think's good. So we got the honey hot wings, right? And it comes with a little, I guess a little jar or dipping thing tub with the hot sauce. With like more hot sauce, you know, extra hot sauce. Not honey sauce, but hot sauce. Woo, my lips was on fire. I loved it. I loved it. Anybody out there loved it too? Do you like hot wings? Anybody out there? Am I alone? No, I feel so lonely right wings, now. Wings are good. I make wings. I make killer fucking wings. Ghost pepper sauce. Ghost pepper sauce? That shit was fucking on the money, yo. Paranormal activity in my hot wings. <laughs> Ghost pepper fucking sauce. Look at that. And then we got, so he's like, yeah, we're going to get famous fries. I said, all right, bro, bring it on, dude. So... I am a big fan of cock. <laughs> <some> cock. <laughs> <laughs> so the waiter came out, slapped his big cock on my dish, and put a little hot sauce on it. No, you're fucking. Thanks, pal. Anyway, go. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. I, I would have did it to him too. So, <laughs> touche, 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 Monsieur Rabbit. Touche. But anyway, so they had the famous fucking fries, had the uh, Old Bay seasoning on them. Ain't it, Jeff? That was Old Bay, right? Plus Old a couple other little secret ingredients. Old Bay in that? Dude, on the fries, it was so fucking good. Are you kidding yeah. me? Holy shit. Then they bring you a little tub of fucking this, uh, like almost like a con queso uh, sauce type thing. Salsa con queso? It's kind of like that, but it's like a white cheese. It's like the Bianco. Right. Oh, Maron, was it fucking good, bro. You could, ugh, forget it. I could have sat there and ate like two orders of those fries alone. Yeah, My fat ass. Cheese dipping sauce. Cheese dipping sauce. Oh, it was good, man. It was fucking delicious. So anyway, so that was how our day started. We got some wings. We got some famous fries. And uh, then it was on to band practice. Our first full denim and leather band practice with our new guitarist, Mr. John Kantner. Welcome to the fold, John. Welcome, John. It was it was great, man. We sounded killer. I, I really don't remember singing the last two songs. But <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> it sounded killer. I don't remember it, but it sounded no, killer. No, just the last two songs. I don't remember singing like fucking Holy Diver, I don't remember, and I don't remember Denim and Leather by Saxon. 
But I sang them. I just don't remember them. But uh, Why yeah, you know why? Because <laughs> Jeff with this fucking high alcohol content beer, right? Because he's Mister I- fucking, uh, you know, cra- he's into the craft beer. That's his thing. Uh huh. She's giving me this fucking New Jersey beer, Exit Four, Honey Blueberry, and it's like fifteen percent fucking alcohol, right? Holy shit, man! And this shit goes down like water. I mean, smooth and fucking delicious. So I, I, you, you could get in trouble with beer like this. Now, let me tell you. A new chloroform? Let me tell you what. <laughs> this is date rape beer. Absolutely. fucking date. You don't date, remember, huh? Dude, date rape did beer. You, did your butt hurt this morning? No, I felt... My butt's loose enough. I don't feel pain uh, no more. I guess Jeff's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ, why does anybody <laughs> listen to this show? Why does anybody listen to this show? So anyway, so yeah. Oh. Right? Well, Date so rape beer. Also, it was that Mount Gay extra. Yeah, the rum. Mount Bay, Mount <laughs> Gay, excuse me. But that was the three shots of vodka I slammed before I got on the mic. So, so yeah, Mount Gay, because I'm very gay. <laughs> so is Jeff. As he had a big glass, too. So he brings me this Mount Gay extra old, and he's plying me with these fucking 15% of alcohol So I don't remember much, man, after this. He could have banged me in my ass for all I fucking know, man. He's plying, he's plying, he's plying you? Or, he was plying or, me. Or plowing you. He's plying me. Then he plowed me. He might have. I don't remember, man. But this fucking beer, I'll tell you what. Fucked me up. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we had a good time. We always have a great time when we rehearse, though. Seriously. These guys, I'm a, I'm a very, very lucky man that I'm in the bands that I'm in with such nice guys. Not only Denim and Leather, but Attacker, too. And uh, that metal band, we're going to start doing shows to again, too. Yeah, I had a fucking few months off, man. Yeah, with nothing. Did. No activity, bro. No gigs. I'm hurting, dude. I don't. Even, I didn't even pay my cable bill yet. I'm lucky we're able to broadcast from fucking Shea Bully tonight. Because <laughs> this shit might go out at any minute. So if you lose us, it's because I didn't pay my fucking cable bill. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to have to go blow the cable guy or something to keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, man, I need some of that beer, bro. going to give the cable guy some beer. <laughs> well, so, yo. I'm gonna give you everything yeah. you want. Oh, my God. Um, but we let me tell you what, you guys got to come out and see Denim and Leather. If you're in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York area, make the trip because it's worth it. Because, you know, it's time to stop being so fucking modest. I got to tell you, this band is fucking monstrous. There is no other fucking band that will come close to us with a new wave of British heavy metal, classic metal set list like we have. We have a fucking 19 song set list that'll make your fucking head spin. I'm talking Sabbath with Dio, Judas fucking Priest, fucking Maiden, uh, uh, Accept, Motorhead, Riot. I mean, nobody does the shit that we do. Nobody. I mean, you know, thanks to my versatile vocal range. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Modesty here. Yeah. Nobody can go from fucking... Udo to fucking Halford to fucking Deano to to Dickinson like King Bully. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, Thank you. Chest all puffed out. Yeah. I wish my cock was puffed out. <laughs> His belly is. <laughs> well, that's always puffed out. That's because Jeff fucking feeds me too, man. On the way home. So we're drunk. We're on the way home, right? So he's like, hey, man, you want to go to Burger King or something? You don't have to ask a fat guy that. Right. <laughs> never ask a fat you, guy never ask a fat guy that especially when the fat guy's been drinking you know because you know i'm gonna say fuck yeah damn fucking straight let's do it let's go what are you waiting for don't even ask me just pull into the fucking drive through yeah, right i got diabetes too so just give me two of everything with the just, diet yeah Coke. give me no. <laughs> <laughs> um, two orders of fries a mac nugget um two whoppers <laughs> with cheese with cheese <laughs> But anyway, so 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 I'm like, yeah, fuck, yeah, man, I could eat. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't lying. Dan straight, I could eat, nigga. So anyway, so 
Yeah, so I'm fading in and out because I'm loaded, right? So all of a sudden, he's making the turn into the drive-thru. I look and I see fucking White Castle. I thought I was in heaven. I thought I died and went to heaven. <laughs> it's like, be- oh, you heard, you heard the angels? Well, be- I guess he didn't know that White Castle's like my fucking thing, dude, you know? So, so I'm like, White Castle. He's like, oh, dude, it's the only place open. I was like, no, that's great. <laughs> Let's do it. So we got White Castles. Oh, my God. And we're listening to the Jerky Boys Volume 4 on the way home eating White Castles. It don't get better than that. Don't get no it better don't than get that. much better than that. And I had never heard Volume 4 to Jerky Boys. I, I, I had the first three, but I never heard Volume 4. So it was like, it, it was wonderful. I had a great evening with you, Jeff. Jeff, will you marry me? <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice date night, huh? Would you marry me, honey? Actually, it was like a date day. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, we 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 are we we hung out till fuck from like one thirty, dude. We spent like twelve hours together yesterday. So I said it was a date day. Yeah, day and night. But anyway, so listen, back to denim and leather. We have a fucking show coming up that you guys, if you're in the tri-state. Or Pen- I don't know what the tri- I don't even know what the tri-state area is. What's the tri-state area? New York, we always New- get into or- arguments over this. It's, it's actually New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. That's considered the original tri-state. All right. So if you're in New Jersey, <laughs> New Jersey, <laughs> did you hear me? I was going to say Jersey. <laughs> if you're in New Jersey, Connecticut, New York, New York, Pennsylvania, 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 come fucking see us. Help support. We're raising money for victims of the Las Vegas shooting. And it's going to be at Hot Shots. What is it? November what? 12th, Jeff? I don't have it in front of me. Well, you're going to wait like 30 seconds for him to... I don't know. I know there's a delay, but just talk, pal. (laughs) Fucking prick. (laughs) Oh, my God. When when are you ever out of fucking loss for words? A lot of times. Never. Especially with you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Stop lying. I'm be like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> Friday, November 17th. That's right. At Hot Shots, baby. Denim and Leather. We have got a great show lined up for you guys. 19 killer fucking songs from the fucking new wave of British heavy metal and American classic metal from the 80s. We do it like nobody else does it. Nobody. There might be like maybe one or two. <clears throat> imitations out there <clears throat> but they can't get with us they one band suddenly sprang up suddenly trying to play the same rooms we play one, but one band suddenly yeah we, we won't even get into that because oh, please th- nigger please that's all i got to say Tom- nigger please <laughs> can't get with us when we get off the air you tell me yeah i'll tell you pal <laughs> So you can go spread it around, and I, next day I get death threats on my Facebook. That's right. Yeah, we know how it is. Well, it's better than uh, freaking dropping the soap memes. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're drinking, Robin. What do you think? <laughs> By the end of the show, you ain't going to be able to understand Roach. He's going to be going, gah, 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 like fucking Popeye <laughs> By the end of the show. <laughs> What is that? That looks like a white castle. Yeah, but that's crystals. Where's that at? They have them down south. Is it good? It's a slider, man. That looks it, like a slider, bro. Just like White Castle. Yeah. I got to try it, man. Yeah, Jeff just posted the uh, Facebook invite for the Las Vegas show that we're doing to uh, raise money for the victims of the Vegas shooting. So come out, guys. It's for a good cause. You're going to hear a great fucking band. I got a couple gigs coming up. I got a great gig with Attacker coming up this weekend, too. Yes. We're playing at Bar Bar 13 in Delaware, and we're playing with Legion. We're playing with Seasons of Mourning, uh, Loaded Gun, and Omnivore. That's ex- that's going to be an exciting show. Attacker this weekend, and the Bar best- 13 in Delaware. So you guys got a couple opportunities to come and meet the bully. And the Roach. The Roach will be there too. That's right. Yes. Yeah, we will be there. The Roach is becoming a fucking, uh, what do they call it? Groupie. Nah, you've been, you've been a groupie. You've been you... <laughs> the extra member. That's how you got the. That's how you got the fucking job on a co-host. No, he, yeah, he's like the sixth member. He's a member, all right. Yeah, I'm a member. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's a member. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get back to the music. Let's play a little more music. We got some prank phone calls for you tonight. Funny Actually, shit. We got Louie coming. What do we got coming? We have Uncle Louie coming. Yeah, with his 
organ thing. Yeah, he's got an organ, all right. Are you guys ready for some Metal Bully and the Roach Insanity? MetalMessiahRadio.com Good afternoon, John Quarter speaking. Yeah, hi, uh, John, you said your name is? Yes, that's me. Hey, I'm Louie. Okay. Hi, how are you? Okay, Louie. I'm all right. Hey, are you the guy who got the organs? Y yes, I tune and repair pipe organs. I'm I'm looking for a specific, uh, specific uh, type of organ. A uh, I need a left oh. ventricle. I'm sorry. What do you need, Louie? Left ventricle organ. A ventricle? Yeah, a left ventricle. My heart. My doctor said I don't get one sore. I'm gonna drop dead. Uh, Louie, we do pipe organ tuning and repair. We don't supply organs for people's bodies. Oh, we you're... tune and repair the musical instrument. Hey, listen, John. John, you said John. Yes. Hey, listen now. Hey, money's no object. All right. If you're doing a little side activity on the side, it's all right with me. I just need the organ quick. I can't wait. Okay. Good. Good luck. We're fine, but we can't help you. Are you breaking Thank my you Hey, you breaking my balls? Louis, this is a musical repair instrument place, not a hurt. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hi. Hello? Hey, you just the guy that got the organs? <laughs> Say you're breaking up, I'm sorry. Say again? Are you the guy that got the organs? I am. Hey, how you doing there, pal? What's up? I I need an organ, quick, fast, in a hurry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Matter of life and death, pal. I don't know what's so funny over there. Hello? Hello. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm on the I'm on the road right now. All right, listen, uh, that's good. You can bring it to me now. I need a left ventricle, quick. Hello. Who am I? Who am I talking to? Louis. Louis Simone. They told me you had organs. I need a left ventricle. Oh yeah, well, I'm I'm a pipe organ person. Pipe organ. I do, I do church organs. Oh, Jesus Christ, I, I'm calling by my heart. No, no, we don't do hearts. We only do church organs. Oh, are you sure you're not playing around with me and messing around with me? They gave me this <laughs> number. Uh, I don't know where you got it, but uh, this is, that's, uh, hey, somebody's playing a joke on you. Listen, I, no money is no object. You understand? If you got it, you don't want me to know. Hey, you're doing this on the side, and you got a couple kidneys and an heart, <laughs> maybe a lung. I'll come down no, there. No, no kidneys, no hearts, no nothing but diaphanes or flutes and, uh, and pipe, pipe organ consoles. That's I, all I've got. I got a skin flute. I ain't, anyway, I, I ain't working with I, much. I, but. Late time, how can I help you? Hey, how you doing tonight, sweetie? Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey, uh, could you answer a couple quick questions for me? Because I, I've been looking for some stuff, and I don't want to waste my time. I had a couple people, you know, tell me they got it, they got it, they got it. Just come down and look, and then I go down and look, and they ain't got it. Okay, let's see what we can help you with. Hey, I'm going to ask you about it, but don't judge, okay? I don't judge. Don't, don't worry. Don't judge. I'm an older man, okay? All right? All right. All right. I'm looking for a butt plug. Oh, we got them here. All right. I figured you got them, but I'm looking for one that's uh, something that's going to, you know, make me uh, curl my toes, if you know what I mean. All right. I want to have one that, uh, what the vibration and, uh, and all of that thing. Oh, right. we got that. Yeah. Definitely. You do? All right, in your opinion, I wanted to get it to also while I got that in my ass, I want to have something that's going to make a vibration in the testiculars area, too. 
Wait, excuse me? You want a butt plug that vibrates and what else? I want to have at the same time something that does the vibration on the testicular area. Um, I don't think there's a toy that does that at the same time, but you can get, I mean, like, the vibration, like, it probably would hit it, I would think, like, if it's inside you, like, because, like, I don't know, like, just kind of, like, how the body works and kind of how vibration works, I guess it would stimulate you as well, or... You you sound like you know a lot about vibration there, sweetheart. Well, I work here, so, yeah, Ah, I have to kind of know about that. I like that. I like that you're not uh, you're not uh, inhibited in in any way, you know. Yeah, as long as you're nice and respectful for me on the phone, I will be nice and respectful to you. That's just how it is. Like uh, if you start good. getting personal, if you start getting creepy, uh, then I no. will hang up. I'm not a creepy but you guy. Think, not yeah, me. you seem very sweet. I, you seem very sweet. Uncle Louie is always sweet. Everybody says it about me. And you know, I got people that call me Uncle Louie, and I'm not even their uncle. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we do have some. I'm looking on the floor right now. Just give me one second. Okay. I, okay. Um. Um, honey, are you you, uh, you got the pornographic movies, right? Wait, excuse me. Pornographic movies, of course, right? Wait, what about? Yeah, we sell them. Before. Right, right. You got VHS still or what? We ain't got VHS, no. That's kind of a thing of the past. Oh, what are you guy? You remember I would go out and buy one of the Blu-ray players? I don't know how to work that stuff. <laughs> I mean, like, they just... And we had had VHS last year, and they didn't sell at all. Well, I, I listen, I, I, I like um a certain type of movie, and again, don't judge. Because I was at that place, that joint in Avenel. And they didn't have it, right? Right. Uh huh. I I like midget porn. Okay, I know we have, might have a couple titles um, in our e ninety five section. You do? Um, I can look for you. I don't know if I mean like I've seen titles with them in it, but I know that uh, we definitely do carry them, but we don't have a specific section for them because okay. our DVDs are so few and far between. But right, I can right. definitely guarantee you that we have at least maybe like one movie right. or maybe two. Right. I know. Do you know if they're it usually, got... I, I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean to cut you off. Do you, do you know... They're usually like in the cheaper sections. Cheaper? So the, you should be charging yeah. more for that. Jesus Christ. you never seen the, the, the guy I'm looking for. His name's Little Dong Long. He's a little oriental guy. I've never seen him. But, little um, dong long. This guy's about two and a half foot tall. His cock's almost as long as his body. I swear to Christ, you wouldn't believe it. It's unbelievable. But I do see some stuff here. If you do want to come in and look, you can. Um, and I can help you from here because uh, you can kind of see what things are. I really can't describe them. So if you want to come in, we definitely do have a lot, though. All right. Are you as pretty as you sound? Um, I don't know. Um, I guess you'd have to judge. I mean, yeah, you have <laughs> very sensual voice there. Thank you. Hey, you may you uh, making my uh, my pockets tight. Let's put it that way. Alrighty. I, I mean, I mean that in the nicest possible way. All right, thank yeah. you so, so much. Hey, yeah, you know, I ain't working with much once you get to be my age, you know. But I, I can still make your toes curl. I appreciate that. Uh, not talking to me like that over the phone, but um, if you do want to come in and see what we have, we're open till midnight. I'm here till midnight, oh, and nice. I can help you. All right, what's your name, sweetheart? My name is Paige. Pay. Oh, I like that. P A I G E. Yes. I love that name. I really Thank do. Thank you. All right, sweetness. I'll see you hopefully tonight. If you see a little old guy come walking in there, who kind of got a little bit of a big belly, but might have some to- right. tomato sauce on my shirt because. <laughs> wow. <laughs> lovable old. <laughs> lovable old Uncle Louie, ain't it? Lovable. Oh, he'll be in later. He's making a fucking appearance tonight. Jesus Christ. <sighs> what am I going to do? What am I going to tell the guy? You know, don't come in. It's my uncle. 
Oh, you have to. You have to let him in. Out of respect. Res- the only, respect. Respect. That's the respect. only reason I let that crazy bastard in here. <laughs> respect. Family. Unbelievable. Familia. Familia. You know? Anyway. <laughs> what the hell is he calling around? He's, he's, he's got another song, Louie. Uncle Lou. Midget. Poor what do you dong. think about Midget Boy? <laughs> <laughs> long dong, long. <laughs> whatever the what the fuck saying? is wrong with him? He's always like, <laughs> oh, that's just him, man. What are you going to do? Hey, he's a veteran. Remember? A veteran. Yeah. Veteran. He's a veteran. veteran. The raindrops kept falling on his head. Yeah, when the chinks had me, remember? <laughs> yeah. hey. The chink had me in camp. Wood Chinese water <laughs> torture. It's that fucking crazy Bo McNutt. That's yeah, that I think was. that's what it is. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely yeah. inspired by him. And uh, that Robin, that crazy Robin Souls, too. Yeah. She's yeah. robbing a lot of things. We got Ben Gay Penis later. That was her <laughs> idea. Unbelievable. You crazy people. Gotta How is love it? it. Gotta love it. Yep. So, yeah, man. Hey. We're gonna have some fun, man. We're gonna have some fun. What do we? What do we? We're not even at the halfway mark, people. No, we're We're, just a little. We're just getting started. We're only about an hour in, and we're just getting started. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Started, started, Mm -hmm. started. Let's get this party started, right? Let's get this party started (laughs) quickly, all right? (laughs) (laughs) Whoop whoop. (laughs) <laughs> woo, woo. It's like, woo. It's like a fucking train <laughs> Like a freight train's coming a freight train. <laughs> a freight train coming for your ass pal <laughs> Open wide Oh god <laughs> Open wide I'm coming inside <laughs> Little long dong Whatever the fuck he said We're a little midget Oriental guy <laughs> Oh Jesus He's like two and a half feet tall It didn't even fucking phase that girl That was the funny part too uh, You know what I, I think she's just used to those calls yeah. And she has to answer those kind of calls She and probably talk gets about that Yeah shit. She gets harassed But like like uh, John Hasselbrink Who uh, He really let me down He's not in the chat Oh Where geez. are you John Hasselbrink Come on Mott Fucking prick Where the fuck are you Yeah you better not be taking a nap like Firm. <laughs> Where is Firm? Where is DJ FJ? Where are you, Firm? Maybe he's on his way over here with Anunzio's tomato pie. Oh. Oh, didn't he say he was going to stop by? Firm? Today? No, he was supposed to stop by last show. Oh. Yeah, you know. What are you going to do? Anyway, yeah. I'd rather have... This is a good opportunity for me to plug the best. You like to plug anything you can. <laughs> Oh, 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 I left myself wide <laughs> open for that, didn't I? Wide open. Ooh. Best pizzeria in fucking New Jersey. I don't care. You can bring it. I don't give a shit. You could tell me, yo, I, ain't going, oh, I know a place by me that's real good. Everybody's got like the best fucking pizzeria. You ever notice that? Yes, they do. Oh, I know where the best pizza is. But listen, let me tell you something, pal. Pal. I know the best fucking pizza in Jersey. I'm from Jersey, okay? My fucking cousins make the best pizza in Jersey. Scorantino's. Anybody out there ever had a Scorantino's pie? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? You're talking about a, a, a family that's been in the business for over, well over 80 years. 80. Eight fucking zero. 80? 80. And the fucking sauce recipe has never changed. And, and it's brick oven pie. So we have people that come from all over for this fucking pizza. Yeah, they, they do. Take them, they take them. You know it, Roach. I ain't got to bullshit nobody. So there's two locations now. There's one in South Amboy, right? Right over the bridge. Right. <laughs> Getting like my <laughs> uncle. Oh, my God. He's rubbing <laughs> off on me. Holy shit. You're rubbing shit. one off. <laughs> rubbing one out, you mean? Rubbing one out? I'm talking about Scortino's Pizza. My pockets are getting tight. <laughs> and we got one back over here, thank God, right down the street on the Brunswick Avenue in Perth, damn boy. I swear to God, you did try it, it you'll never it, have another pie again. You, you'll never want another pizza. What? That uh, oven in the one in Perth, damn boy, they, was that the one from the old place? No, they there tried was, to. They were going to try to move that, but it would have cost them a half a million fucking dollars. Oh, so it's a new one. <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's a new one. It's, yeah, it's, right. But let me tell you what. I was just there recently. It was with my uncle. 
Not other uncle, my uncle Pat. Not, not the, uncle not, Louie. Not crazy uncle Louie. The other crazy uncle, Pat. And um, we had a, the best is the sausage and onion or sausage, peppers and onion or sausage and peppers. You got to get with the sausage on it. You have to. I know you're going to fucking say something, Roach, because I'm talking about sausage. Uh, uh, hey, I was actually going to leave yeah. that one alone. Okay, yeah. But anyway, but, but <laughs> you know... <laughs> You, you know how you go to most places <laughs> Fucking jerk off You know how you go to most places And they get a piece of sausage And then you just cut You know Slices And they put it on the pie And you go to pick up the fucking pie And the, and the, and the piece of sausage Just fucking rolls off Falls off They grind it up And they put it all over the pie It's Cortino's And it's unbelievable The sausage is seasoned Everything they do Is a special recipe there It's not like they're just gonna go Buy a fucking sausage And throw it in some sauce it, Everything is seasoned a certain way the dough is made a certain way the oven is cooking it a certain way it's just seriously i'm getting now i'm getting fucking hungry talking about it roach but you're hungry all the time that's because i'm fat guy <laughs> fat guys are always hungry all the time always especially hungry. when you're drinking when especially when you're drinking alcohol fat guys get hungry you think yeah i huh. know you don't have to think <laughs> oh mama me what are you gonna do though what can you do? I don't know. You got to live life. You got to love life because you never know. You right? only, well, you only got one life, so. It's with the fucking insanity that's going on out there right now. I don't yes. even want to get into it. Especially, with, you know, now girls, can join, go, you, girls can join yes, the Boy Scouts. Yes, what is going on? What is this? Somebody want to fucking tell me? Why are girls being allowed into the fucking Boy Scouts? Please. Don't they have the Girl Scouts? Fucking shoot me. Shoot me fucking now. Kill me now. This is bullshit with this gender fucking crazy gender shit already. All right? You got a penis, you're a fucking boy. You got a JJ, you're a fucking girl. That's it. Bottom line. End of story. End of story. End of story. Move That's it. Move oh. on. When you're 18 years old, if you still feel like you're like trapped in the wrong body, then get it taken care of. That's fine. It's beautiful. But don't confuse these kids. Kids are not meant to fuck with. Kids are not meant to twist around to your agenda and your fucking narrative. Okay? Leave the kids alone. Absolutely. Leave the kids alone. Don't introduce this fucking gender neutrality, gender fluidity, and all of that bullshit. They want to put it in kindergartens now they want to start teaching five-year-old kids that you could be what you want to be right now i could say hey how about i say i'm a fucking horse right now i'm not a fucking human being are you gonna say oh okay bob go gallop away and go eat some fucking grass bullshit i mean it's the same thing if you ask me yeah. right now roach if you said you're a woman i got to accept that they want to pass laws now that if you you miss i what is it right I what? swear to God, they're talking about... In other countries, it's already being implemented. If, if If I look at you, and I assume you're a fucking guy, and you're not... And you think you're not a guy, though. Let's say you think you got a JJ, right? Or you're right. a woman trapped in, the, in a dude's body or whatever. So I misidentify you. You can go to the fucking law and get me in trouble. You can get me locked up. That's got to be in Europe. Of course, it's probably in fucking <laughs> Sweden. More than oh, it's got to be in fucking Sweden. No if it's shit. anywhere, I hate to say it, but you guys in Sweden, man, shit. Great death metal, but... <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the death metalers aren't happy about shit like that. Yeah, I got to that... imagine, as, well, as progressive and forward-thinking as they think they are, that shit, just come on, man. You guys are fucking your fucking country up, man. Yeah. They are, man. They got, they got more... They, they got more Muslims, and dude, the the they're raping women out there. If you're walking around without a burqa and you're dressed, say a woman's wearing a, a dress or a skirt, and she's not accompanied by a man and she's showing her face, they think it's open season that they could take you and do things to you. It's happening. It's happening right now all over you know all over those areas. Is that why music you, festivals in Germany, it, music festivals that, in Switzerland? Is that why you shaved and Me? you got the new plane ticket? Uh, dude, I'm too ugly. <laughs> they would never, they would never mistake me for a woman. I'm too ugly, too I fat. Know, I don't know. You, you you could be like part of like the bobsledding team or Listen, something. Listen, pal, <laughs> Bob. You you like that word? You, you fucking Bob on the knob, right? Like bobbing for apples. He's fucking bob bobbing for cocks. Bobbing for cocks. Bobbing for cocks. Bobbing for balls. Bobbing for balls. Yeah. <laughs> fucking guy. Holy crap. What a crazy world. This is a crazy world, guys. So let's have fun. Fuck it. Right? 
Fuck it all and fucking no regrets. That's right. That's right. Anyway, let's 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 do this, man. Steve oh, Michaels from Death Mask. I see. Well, LC. LC's in the chat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he jumped on because we were talking yin yang. It's, oh, I see. Jet is in there too. Oh and shit, we got more people in there. That's a beautiful thing. I didn't notice Dane. I don't know if you were on there before. Dane McClintic, my uncle's buddy. My uncle's gonna be happy to see you, Dane. He's stopping in later. He's got a song. Well, didn't I start talking about that? He's got a song, guys. Who? My Uncle Louie. He's coming in with a song. Another fucking song. And that's all your fault, people, because you, you, you keep telling him you like it. You're encouraging him, he said. He's saying, people are going on my Facebook and they're telling me they love my music. Oh, yeah. It's coming out later on. Yeah, yeah. I know. He said, all I know is he said, we're going to get funky. Funky? <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> We're going to get funky tonight. What the fuck is he talking about? I, I said, you can freak it funky. Because I hadn't <laughs> taken shoes off around me before. <laughs> oh, it smells like Parmesan cheese. <laughs> yeah, to say, I thought he had tomato pie. He was going to be fucking sprinkling some fucking <laughs> grated cheese. <laughs> He's scraping his feet. Oh, my oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Tell me about it. So he'll be stopping in later. Oh, my Aunt Wahida, too. Oh, I'm, I will not even get into my Aunt Wahida. She's pissed off, bro. Yeah, she's pissed off at that chick, About right? that rapper. What the hell is her name? Uh, Something B, Candy B. What the fuck? Cardi? Cardi B? Is that what it Cardi was? Cardi B. She said she's the worst female rapper in the fucking world. She got a number one fucking song in the United States. She Holy said crap. She's got to stop in and talk about that later, too. What a world. Unbelievable. <sighs> But here yeah. we are. Let's get to some Steve Michaels from Death Mask. Are you guys ready for a killer interview? Metal Messiah Radio, Metal Bully, and The Roach. Oh, yes. And here we are once again at the most coveted moment of the Metal Bully and The Roach radio show. We have our guest of the evening. The one and only Steve, Steve Michaels, Michaels of Death Mask. Mask. What's going on, Steve? Uh, hello, my rocking friend. Yes. Oh, not much, my friend. How is everything going with you? It's going, bro. It's going. It's going, you, you know. know. I'm, very, uh, I'm, I'm very flattered and honored to be on your show. Uh, we're happy to have you, my friend. Yeah, we're the ones who are flattered. Thank you. Yes, indeed, man. Thank you know, I appreciate it. We got a lot of crazy shit going on in the world, Steve. So what we like to do is we like to have some fucking fun, man. Get some people's minds off we all the depressing, you know? Yep. Off the depressing bullshit that's I going on. I am with you 100 fucking percent. Yep. You know? Fuck that shit, man. But let me, let me yeah. talk a little bit about Steve. Um, Death Mask, you guys probably heard I've been playing the music for a couple weeks now. Couple The past couple shows you guys Thank have been you. on, man. Um, I gotta tell you, man, Split the Atom is fucking, uh, one of my favorite old 80s metal albums. It's, it's got the punky energy, it's got the, uh, high intensity energy level that I enjoy. It's, it's, it's just fucking great songwriting, great fucking vocals. Uh, uh I remember a buddy of mine had turned me on to it because he knows I'm, I'm a very big Exciter fan from Canada. Exciter. Yep. So yeah, he says to me, Dude, you got to check these guys out. He goes, I know you love Exciter from Canada. He goes, these guys kind of remind me. They got that vibe. So as soon as he said that, I was like, holy shit. Now, now, mind you, I didn't know anything about Savage Choir yet that you guys used to be Savage Choir yet. Okay? Right. I didn't find that out until Sitting in the Dark. And then you guys had that, that uh, the magazine, not like a magazine, but the insert or whatever it was. Um... Yep. You know what I'm talking about. It says Death Mask, and it's 1984 mm -hmm. to 2000, whatever. Right? Yeah, so, the bio. Yes. Yep. Right? So when I when I had read yep. Savage Choir, I was like, I was like, wait a minute, man. I think I saw these fucking guys in the city in like two in like 1984, right? And uh, yep. I did not know that you guys became Death Mask. I was like, wow, that is just fucking weird, man. You know, I was blown away. I was like, holy shit. Kind of fucking freaky. But then when I heard the album sitting in the dark, I was like, man, this this is fucking killer, bro. You, you guys didn't lose a step, man. How the fuck you go, Jesus Christ, bro, we're 20 years without without even losing a fucking beat. How'd you do that? Well, you know, I mean, well, 
uh, when we we started a savage choir, like like you said, like around eighty four or so, you know. Um, and we, you know, we were playing. We we're, you know, we we you know, we put a we got an original set. We were out playing. We did all the you know the normal stuff that you would you know that you would expect back then. You know, Lamora, CBGBs, uh, all the Staten Island places and shit, right. and. Um, also, we had a, a couple of members, Benny, uh, Benny Ransom, the guitar player, and Chris Eichhorn, the bass player, right. uh, were based out of uh, Beacon, New York, of, you know, going upstate, like, towards, you know, up towards Bear Mountain area. And we uh, had, a, like, a, like, a rabbit following up there. So we were, you know, we were a working band. Everything was going great. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, we were playing out. We do our first demo. Mm -hmm. And we send and we send it out to one. Uh, we send it out to one record label, and we get it. And we get a record deal, which you know we're like, wow, look at us, you know. But, uh, <laughs> that was in the UK, right? right? That was overseas in the UK. The label it was. Yeah, that that's right. 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 Okay. That was, um, right. So what what ends up happening there though is that uh, do you recall? Do you remember Thor? Oh, of course, man. Yeah. John Michael Thor. He's going to yeah. be on my show hopefully soon too. You know? Oh yeah, no shit. Yeah. Maybe he can listen to this part of this show here, but um, he uh, ends up. We end up. What happened is that we're playing a show somewhere in New York, <coughs> and there's this woman I can't remember her name. A uh, Beth Newsbaum, and she was the editor at the time of uh, Metal Mania magazine. Okay. So she sees us play. She likes the band. She goes, "Listen, you know what? You, get, uh, you have a you, uh, you have management. You have a record. Uh, you have a deal. You know this type of thing." And we're kids. We're like, no, no, you know, we're looking and blah, blah, blah. I hand her a demo. Mm -hmm. uh, a week later, I have a deal with, uh, I, I have, we sign a record deal. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're preparing to go into the studio. All right, now. And we're on top of the world. We're kids, right? We're on top of the fucking world. Sure. Kids. And, uh, right, of course, you know. Um, and we uh, we have a studio day. I can't recall the name of the studio. Up in Syosset, New York. Blue Oyster Cult had done albums there, so we're excited, you know. So nice. we get there, and they go, John Michael is, is the producer, and I don't know John Michael from anything. <laughs> they go, Steve Price is his co-producer. Now, that name kind of rang a bell to me, but I still didn't know. And then we just, we, we get there thinking that we're going to start recording our album. Maybe we're going to start to, like, you know, get, like, drum sounds down or what have you. And we get there, and we learn that, all right, well... You know, uh, we're, you know, I go, so what are we going to get done today? They're like, everything. You know, we're here for like <laughs> everything. Five, so Holy shit. <laughs> everything. They go, we're going to record the album. You know, we're going to record and mix the album today in the next three hours. Like, holy shit. Three hours. Thank God. So much yeah, for budget, yeah, thank right? Thank God that we were. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, right. Thank God that we're tight, you know, at that time. I mean, of course, I mean, whatever it was, this was going to be the album. Right, right. And so anyway, so, so here's, so we meet John Michael. And we're looking at this guy. It's like, who is this? You know, he's familiar looking. And, like, Benny pulls me out of the room. He goes, that's that fucking guy Thor. <laughs> John Michael, <laughs> no shit. shit. Yeah, so, but, you know, so well, anyway, so we, we go about it. We record the album in three hours. Basically, what they did is they, you know, they went in. We recorded uh, vocals, one shot, uh, guitar, drum. We were a single guitar band. The guitar, drums, and bass, you know, all live. And then Benny went back in, and he, you know, he overdubbed Lee. He tracked his leads. It. So that basically, how long is the album? About 30 minutes long, so it took about 40 minutes to record. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, well, that's great, right. though. Yeah. Holy and, shit. And so we, we do that, you know, and we, uh, we're done, you know, and we mix it, and, you know, we're, it's, again, we're kids. We're excited about the whole thing. And a few days later, we get a call saying, listen, um, we... You know, we're excited about the album, guys, but the name, you know, the name Savage Choir, I don't, I don't think that, you know, that's going to work here. And I'm, I'm fucking heartbroken when I'm hearing that. It's like I had a little, I'm an artist, you know, I did all the logos and all the insignias and all the stuff that went through. No shit. And, yeah, and, um, and, like, so maybe good guy, we got to start thinking about a new name. So I start thinking about names that or have an S and a C in it. Because I wanted to use the insignia that I had designed, so I'm coming up with a thousand different <laughs> names: uh, Savage Christ, uh, <laughs> <all these different laughs> Savage Christ. I don't know. <laughs> <that. laughs> you name it. 
And so, you know, I present all this stuff to them. And they come like, well, these are all good, but, you know, how about this? How about death mask? I like death mask. <laughs> it's like, I mean, we don't sound like death mask. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And they're like, yeah, well, you know, we have an artist and he did, uh, we have, you know, a whole marketing campaign built around the name death mask and, and so on and so on. And we were death mask. <laughs> and, and no that, shit, really? that, that's how we, be- yeah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. they gave them their death name. Mask. They christened them as death mask. That's freaky, man. I, I yeah, I'll tell you what, right, I like the name you know, Savage was, Choir, man. That was a cool name, Savage Choir. I thought it was yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. You fuck? know, death mask to me was a little generic, you know, it was yeah. a little trendy. I don't know if that's the right word, but, but it was at the well, time at the, when, at that time, when yeah. death metal first was becoming a thing. I was like, we're not that. You know? You're know, you not really even death metal, though, <laughs> either, man. You know what I mean? You guys... It, it, no, no, not at all. You back know, but, then, you know, we had a, but, I would have said you were yeah, power well, metal, yeah. right? I would have said you were yeah, power me metal, yeah, speed I would, metal. I would have categorized the band as power metal, me too, you know, and um, but yet, here we are, Is you know, we're death mask, and you know, we should have known then, you know, I mean, it, you know, that was kind of like a a harbinger of like you know, what was to come, you know. And so, right. Like many other bands, you know, we uh, the end result was that we had signed a bad record deal. Yeah, and and you, you weren't know, we, the only we, ones, it, bro. You weren't the only ones. Yeah, so don't I, fucking I, feel bad about that. Yeah, shit. no, I no, of course, you know. you know. And um, and we the record was only released here in the U.S. as an import, and at the time, you know, it, you know, it was thirty five dollars. You know, thirty five dollars, yeah. which we didn't want. You know, that was expensive. Wow. We Dude, that's expensive by, now for um, a fucking album, in my opinion. I go to the yeah, fucking no store, shit. I see a thirty five exactly. dollar album. I'm like, go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? That's too much, yeah, man. Yeah. We were now when we signed a record deal, we also signed a management deal and a publishing deal, right? right? So and a booking deal, all right? All through the same, you know, uh, through the same thing. And they had a, they had. A, uh, tour date schedule for us in Europe. So we're then, of course, this was the thing. You know, we were excited about this. It was to be, it was to open shows with Slayer. And nice. uh, Dave nice. Lombardo got injured somehow, you know, and they canceled the tour. Oh, Jesus and Christ. And so, of course, we're heartbroken, right? Yeah, so we, you know, we're like, all right, all right, well, shit happened. So what else you got? They're like, well, we, you know, uh, I still want to go to Europe, right? And they're like, well, we don't really have anything, you know, right now. I'm like, okay, and what about here? You know, in the United States. You know, uh, and they go, well, we don't really book in the United States. What? I go, all right, well, then I go, I, I go, I'll just, I guess I'll just book myself. They go, well, you can't. I go, what do you mean I can't? They go, well, you have a, you know, you're, you're signed with us. We have a management deal with you. So, you know, all your bookings have to come through us. No <laughs> so, like, so, meaning wow. that basically I couldn't play. That you know? sucks. So, uh, yeah, it was terrible. You know, so, you know, at that moment, you know, even though, you know, the album was out, you know, we got reviewed in Kerrang!, we got, you know, reviewed in Metal Forces, you know, you know, there was some good stuff too. We got, you know, people, you know, people were liking it, you know, I mean, but we couldn't do anything with it. So, you know, at that point, you know, uh, me and Benny sat down together and said, all right, what's, you know, what's our next move here? You know, and I go, he goes, he goes, well, we just got to stick with it. We got a record deal. I go, listen, Ben, ben this is not going to work. This is, you know, I mean, if we can't play, what's the use? What's the use? Right, right. right. So, yeah, the, exactly, the whole, the whole you know, point so. is to go out and play, right? That's why right, you, that's exactly. why you get go, a band together. We, mm-hmm. He goes, we're stuck. I go, no, we're not stuck. I go, we could go, we could just walk away from Death Mask. Right. You know, and, and you know, now it's, it's a shame that these songs that, you know, that are you know, in us that we did, our first album, it's like, it's like your first kid, you know what I mean? It's the most important thing in the world to you. But, you know, it, it was just unfortunate. But we, we had no, you know, I, there was, for me, there was nothing that we could do with that music anymore. So we're like, listen, why don't you know, we're already working on new stuff. Let's just, <clears throat> let's start over. Let's let's just, like, you know, put that aside. Clean Savage Choir again. Yeah, just do Savage Choir again, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. But you know what, Benny? Benny was not reported ways on that. Uh, you know, and um, so uh, so that's I mean, really. I mean, we went from you know starting the band to like becoming pretty fucking popular really quickly to getting a fucking record deal to the band being over all within the course of like a year and a half, two years. Wow. I mean, it literally went like that. Yeah. Yeah. So sucks, you know, Benny man. Benny left. He actually moved out to California for a while. 
uh, Lee, the drummer, and Chris, the bass player, stayed with me. We went out and, and, and you know, put ads out at the time in the Aquarian, you know, an easy rocker, right? Yeah, and I found rocker, another I remember that. Player. I remember the easy yeah, rocker, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fucking A, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's what, you know, now we have Facebook, and you could reach a yeah, right? people in a minute. <laughs> easy rocker, you would buy an ad and three people would fucking see it. You know? so, uh, yeah. But, you know, and that's all you had at the time, you know. So, but anyway, I found a guitar player, a young kid. A guy named Guy Capuzzo. Okay. Uh, he was 17 years old at the time, but he was like a whiz kid. Since then, you know, he went on to get a doctorate in music. Now he's doctor. Guy Capuzzo, he writes music theory books and all that stuff. Shit. But anyway, I, re I reformed Savage Choir. Uh, started from scratch, you know, um, uh, and did that for a number of years, you know. I, I, in fact, I got the band almost to the point maybe even more popular you know at the time than Death Method you know, so you have albums with Savage Choir do you have albums now with Savage Choir then I do I well do. then yeah, you need I to do. send me so, some uh, of that man you oh, gotta get some of that on the fucking air bro yeah absolutely the funny thing is that like uh, just like a few uh, and, and uh, how long ago was it only a few years ago I, I get approached by um, and it's, forgive my old guy memory here I can't remember names of, of I mean, a tribunal records. So that's who I got approached by. Okay. And I ended up finally, just a few years ago, putting out a Savage Choir album. Oh, uh, the nice. album is called uh, Winter of Pro Guitar. Nice. Much different than, you know, than Death Mask, you know. Um, you know, progressive, you know, somewhere like a cross in between, I don't know, like Voivod and King Diamond and Megadeth. You know, it's pretty good. You know, got, uh, oh, you're making and, my and fucking, you're making me erect over here. <laughs> Wait, uh, Both <laughs> inches. Erect. Both inches. Both inches of his dog. <laughs> with, with, without Viagra. <laughs> He's sitting there rubbing himself. <laughs> yeah, Steve, you got me all excited over here, bro. I want to hear this fucking that's, shit, man. That's, that's what I was going for. That's what I yes. Was going for but, but yeah, we did that. And so, yeah, that came out, you know, just years ago. So, you know, it, it kind of it, it completed the circle for me with that. But, but anyway, so, I mean, we... But, you know, so we did that, and finally that ran its course in around, like, 1991, 92. Uh, I was kind of done. You know, I, I stepped away myself from doing all this, you know, doing music for a while. And uh, probably uh, around 2000, and, oh, I want to say 2008 or 9. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the I, bug. I get contacted. But I, well, no. Well, I mean, shortly after that, but I, got, I get contacted. Uh, by Retrospect Records. Right, this is the beautiful uh, part. A, yes. Right, yeah, you know, Retrospect, right? So they uh, they want to re-release, they want to reissue Split the Atom. And, and this is, you know, 28 years later, you know? And um, and they do, you know? They come out and they uh, they um, uh, put it out on CD. Uh, I, I added a bunch of songs to it that had it. That gave that we hadn't released. It, it was it was a cool experience, awesome. and so what uh, what led to is now. So what led from that point to sitting in the dark is that uh, Benny is having a conversation with the owner of Retrospect Records. He goes, "Listen, guys. He goes, this thing is selling. You know, they had gone through a couple <laughs> pressings of it. He goes, you got anything else? And Benny <laughs> says, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Steve are working on new stuff right now." <laughs> that's now, good. When, when, that's well, that's like a typical response. We hadn't so. played music together for we hadn't played together for twenty years. <laughs> saying this stuff. Oh, oh, I guess yeah. in that case, so, but no. We, <laughs> but the magic yeah, was no, still that, there, no, man. Go, the magic was yeah. still there, and Steve. Yeah, I said, yeah, well, yeah, I said to Ben, well, you know, you said you told him yes, or I guess maybe now we should, maybe, <laughs> maybe we should do it, you know, and that's exactly what we did. Yes, uh, man. Benny's in Florida now, you know, so we went, and so I spent some time in down in Florida, uh, worked out song ideas. We would, you know, go back and forth sending stuff. I'd go into the studio up here by myself. He'd go into the studio down there by himself. and uh, so, so it all worked out. Well, yeah. It all worked out, you know. We we, we awesome. um, and, and that led to um, sitting in the dark. You know? Yes, uh, let's fast forward to that. Sitting in the dark, man. Great fucking album, man. Yeah. Great. Uh, thank you very much. You know, I love it, man. Uh, I mean, definitely. It was a, it was a different. It was different than you know. It was a different approach than than split the atom. But you know, I, I you know I 
it felt like that fast to me. Dude, you know it's I mean? it's really it, it not right that much me. different. I mean, I was listening to it. Like I said, I was telling you, uh, you know, earlier, last time I spoke with you, it, it, it's it's um, it still has that punky fucking edge to it, man. It still has an energetic. Yeah. That, it's very bombastic of a fucking album, bro. I, I mean, in some ways, it's an improvement than Split the Atom. I mean, because you have that just that pump and sound, man. It's very, very. It's a very good album. It's a very consistent album. Oh, I- it really is. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I yeah. dig it, man. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I, I appreciate it coming from you. Actually, right now, uh, Benny and I are are going to give it one more. We're going to throw one more out there. You know, yes. We're working on new stuff right now. Good. And, um, you know, we're going to do one more album. The, uh, the working title is uh, Prolonging the Agony. We have a few songs written already. Uh, uh, we're going to also probably do a cover of American Woman. Cool. On it. And, um, yeah, yeah. With any luck, it'll be. Uh, I would. I would. If I had to put a target date on it, I would. I would say probably by maybe the summer. Cool. Uh, it should be done and you know ready to go out. So you know we're we're pretty excited about that. Good man. Uh, I, I, besides you and Benny, is uh, the other members still there or the new members? Anybody else from Sitting in the Dark? Nah. And- or are you going to have a new uh, rhythm uh, section? Uh, sitting in the dark, uh, you know, for sitting in the dark, uh, we uh, uh, the only original members are me and Benny. Uh, we went out and we recruited uh, uh, drummer Rob McLaughlin mm-hmm. and um, and uh, bass player Mike Popley, who folks locally might remember from um, oh shit, what was the name of his band? That's the bass action uh, Psycho hero, Prism. Psycho the- Prison. He played. Yeah, right. He That's played right. a little bit with my band, Morbid Sin, for a very short time. Uh, oh, oh, no shit! He, oh, there you go. he you recorded know, one song with us. Yeah. Uh, he recorded a uh, single with us, and yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, that, but oh, um, that name yeah. does sound familiar. He had about he, he had about ten bands going at the time, so you know. Oh yeah, for sure. He's one like, of those you know, guys. He's a bass player for hire. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we thing. did that with them. As far as what this next one here, I'm not sure. You know, I mean. I, I, I'd like to use, uh, and we've been talking about it, I'd use, I like to use Dale Whitaker, uh, who's in Rocker. Dale, right yes. Now, the drummer. Uh, on, the drummer, drum, right? You know, Dale's in Rocker. He's also in um, the Spider Rockets, who are a very good band. Yeah. Why listening. does that sound so uh, familiar to me? What? Spider Rockets. Why does that sound so fucking familiar? Dale's in I the know, band. But he plays drums for it. But why the fuck does that, where yeah. are they from? Jersey, right? No, I don't think where they're the from fuck Jersey. Where the from? No, no, yeah, they're from Jersey. Yeah, oh, they, they play, are from Jersey? You know, I know they just yeah, played they a couple shows in much, New York. But yeah. they are from Jersey, yes. Yeah. They've been yeah. around for a little while they're now. Yeah. Come over here and fucking smack you in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Fucking J.O. How dare you. <laughs> dare guy. you, jackass. I'm going to get my fucking Uncle Louie in here after you in a minute. Put you in fucking cement shoes. Watch. Yeah, the we'll infamous see Uncle Louie. Uncle Louie's coming, bro. I'm telling you, man. I mean, you, you don't want Uncle Louie to come talk to you, Steve, please, because you got a last name that's Italian, and he'll fucking go for hours with you. And you want to throw a fucking... Oh, my own. You want to throw a tomato pie in your face. Just... Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> Steve, man, do you, call it, do you call it tomato pie, or do you call it pizza? If you're a real guinea, come on, tell I me call the truth. It pizza. Do you you call do? It, you, you call, call it, it gravy fucking gravy pizza? Or, do you Holy call it gravy shit. or do you call it gravy, pizza? my friend? To me, it's gravy. It's gravy. That's exactly fucking right. It's gravy. It's fucking gravy. And my uncle will argue till his death. What fucking Italian says, "Oh no, it's, <laughs> yes. no, it's not fucking sauce. It's gravy." <laughs> That's pizza. right. And my uncle will argue till his fucking death that it's tomato pie. It is not fucking pizza. And I swear to God, I don't know where he gets it from, but. That's the way I grew up knowing it. What about... And, and wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. What? what? <laughs> Reminded me of something. What? what? <laughs> Both you fucking pricks. What? I can't remember now. Holy shit. Oh, oh stop. Jesus it's one of those... Christ. It's it, a Majorska it, moment. <laughs> it's one of those... Oh, I remember doing that. Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christ. Let me get a hold of myself here. I, I'll remember it when I... Oh, okay. Okay, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Now you know when you're talking to a genuine fucking guinea. Now that does, then that doesn't offend me because I got a. Don't forget, I'm Italian too. It doesn't offend me when people yeah, say that guinea. Doesn't offend me at all. Right? If somebody says right, say that last part. mozzarella, 
you know they're not fucking Italian. It's mozzarella. Oh, you I don't say not. fucking mozzarella. Right. It aggravates the fucking yeah, shit that? out of me on the commercials. Oh, they'll, say, they'll say ricotta. They'll yeah. Say ricotta. Yeah. Ricotta. Yeah. ricotta. Instead of ricotta. Ricotta. It's fucking right. ricotta. Right, come on. <laughs> All right. Get the fuck out of here. I fucking God. can't stand fake Italians. It makes me fucking crazy. Oh, my own. Yeah. You gotta stay there. Hey, go fuck yourself, pal. Dude, you're like eating the Listen, mic. Pal. You're eating the mic. Listen, you're spiking everything. As long as, as long as I'm not eating fuck, as long as I'm not eating cock like you, I'm all right. I'm gonna have to put this fucking screen on. <laughs> <laughs> he's, getting the, he's getting the pop screen on for me now. He's like, I'm like, he's like my daddy. Okay, daddy, go ahead, put this pop screen so I don't get too close to the mic. He gets too close to the mic and he starts. It's, I, right, should, he, I should know he, mic he, etiquette by now, Steve. He should know. <laughs> fucking Bobby Leatherland Lucas has been singing his whole life. He knows how, to, how close he needs to be to the fucking microphone. Oh, Christ, but no. I don't, though. You can he, does, he, he doesn't, though. <laughs> but I need a handler, Steve. That's like my drummer from Attackers says to me, Sabatini. Another guinea. And Sabatini. He says, you need a handler. Yeah. I says, yeah, no, I do. <laughs> He's right, I do need now a that, handler. You need a handler. Now, now, that's a true guinea there, Mike Sabatini. Sabatini, <laughs> and he's from Jersey yeah. City too. You know, do you know Mike? I do. Oh, you do oh, know Mike Christ. I, I, was a, I was a fan of I was a fan of Attacker Christ. back in you know back when you guys were like you know in in, uh, in grade school. <laughs> oh, when I used to listen <laughs> to that, Mimi. How's that? Is that how's, uh, how's um how's the Attacker experience? It's going good, man. I mean. I used to listen to those guys when I was fucking 18, man. You know, I uh, they were a band I listened to, you know, Battle of Helms Deep, and then I had the second me coming. Too. And, me too. I mean, you do know? you do any of the... I'm interviewing you now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> here we go. I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, when you're uh, live, do you do any of the old... Oh, yeah. Stuff, like Eminon and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, yeah dude. We do Eminon. We do... Uh, Lords of Thunder, we do Revelations of Evil, Battle at Helm's Deep. Well, no, we don't do the song Battle at Helm's Deep. We did that like one time. It's a long song. I mean, I don't that, remember why we don't old. do it that, anymore. That, that's album. That's, from that's album. the first that's one. Album. Yeah, that's, that's a classic. I mean, yeah. we do ba- we do um, The Hermit. We do... Ah, uh, uh, shit, I know we Lords. do more than that. We do, we do Call on the Attacker. Um, we do awesome. Slayer's Blade off that album. Yeah, so we do some good stuff, man. You know, it, you know. I mean, you know, we we probably back then we I, we I, I, you know I I almost think that we took it for granted how many like you know talented bands that were all you know in the in the same moment of time. You know, mm-hmm. and when you listen, you know, now nowadays you know there's probably just as many bands like you know original bands. But I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's because you know, I'm older and you and you like what you like, but. Right. It's not the same fucking thing. It's not the same. It's not, it's it's not, not the same, man. It's not the it's same. Not. It's not the yeah, same. Not we were, we I mean, were lucky, me, like, those, man. These, these bands were like, everyone had something unique about them. Like, I could, like, you could put them on. I'll know who it is in 30 seconds. Yep. I won't yeah. name any names, but, like, you know, I mean, there I could I could give you a list of, you know, 25 original bands around here and that, that all sound pretty much like each other. Yeah, you know? cookie and cutter, so, bro. <laughs> cookie cutter shit, man. It yeah, sucks. yeah, yeah. We, you I, know, I'm not a fan of that. Back in the day, we were lucky, man. 1984, 1985. <laughs> every weekend going to fucking Lemoore, Lemoore's. going to Limelight, going to oh, fucking Danceteria. Checking out uh, all those, those bands. Those are such good times. Dude, I, I Park Villa? I, I would... Park Villa in Staten Island. Okay. You remember the Park Villa in Staten oh, Island? Oh, yeah, yeah. And Snoopy's, fucking, uh, yeah, Billy O's. Oh, what what was Soap Factory was Park Billy Villa, O's, that right? Was my fa- that was my favorite play. That I saw O's them play. guys. I, I played with uh, my old band, Morbidson, open for Attacker at Billy O's for the second coming, yep. second coming album. And uh, I remember telling those guys, because uh, they wanted to leave and go party, because that was what it was all about. You that play, was, and you went go, that. and you went go, and you fucking got fucked up. And uh, I was like, no, fuck you, man. I'm staying. I want to see these guys, bro. That was when Sabatini had uh, yeah. long, curly hair down to his fucking waist. What's he got yeah. now? He ain't mm-hmm. got Ugats now. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> I love you, Savageweenie. Mike Savageweenie, I love you. You know it. He knows I love him. Yeah. I, He's a great guy. guy. Yeah. yeah, it, 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 yeah there, there's why. You know, there was. You know, it's funny, you know, I mean, like, we, it's almost like we appreciate we're older now, we appreciate 
more. Yeah, we appreciate each other more. more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Back then we were competitive with each other. Yes, <laughs> <And laughs> we talk about to, that, dude. Uh, you know, I wanted to oh, be yeah. a hacker. You know, I didn't want to be friends no, with him. I know. Steve, um, we know it, man. Steve, we talked those, about that like four, let, four let, times, bro, right? Let me tell you, Steve. <laughs> we talked about yeah. that yeah. with... Uh, no, we had a lot of interviews. James Alan Rivera, Johnson, Alan Johnson, everybody, yep. Sean Peck, yep. everybody, and it's yeah. the same thing. It's just, just like now Back it's then, a more, everybody wanted to blow everybody away. Now it's a community. We everybody all want to help each other. other. Yep. Uh, you know, you, you know, it's it's very true. You know, and and, it, and it's uh, and it's good. You know, I'm I'm glad about it. I mean, like I hadn't done. Um, anything you know musically for for years you know i just you know it's just a thing from that i did when i was younger mm. and then a few years ago three years ago i guess three or four years ago um there was used to be a, a local uh there was a let me see, how do i tell a story in the right order all right so there was a benefit show being put together right, some some girl was you know had some medical uh uh-huh. expenses mm-hmm. and, a, and a show was being put together and the um the uh uh the band that they were booking for the show uh, was an uh, uh, old cover band uh, called uh, Steel Fortune. And this is back in, you know, they were a cover band back in the same time that we're talking about, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, in Sayerville. You know, they were a good cover band. You know, they, they you know, uh, priests and made and kind of shit that we do now in cover bands. And the, uh, the guitar player in the band uh, uh, at the time was Dave Sabo from, from Skid Row. Oh, right. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who went on to be in Skid Row. Now, I'm from Sabo, so you know, I you know, grew up with all these guys. Right. Right down and, the street uh, from us. So he, yeah. 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 Right, right. So so he was, the, you know, so the show was basically, you know, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the you know, reunion show of, uh, of, of Steel Fortune featuring Dave Sabo. So, um, they reached out to the singer at the time, uh, or the, you know the, the old singer, and he he balked at the gig because I'm not going to do it. So it's booked, but they have no singer. You know, so um, I know the drummer, it's a friend of mine. So he goes, "Hey, you, you feel like doing a gig?" You know, and I'm like, "All right, what the fuck?" You know, I mean, I didn't think much about it. I practice a couple times, you know, um, get together a quick set of, of covers, and, right. and then we play. At, at uh, Buddy's Tavern, this little place is terrible. I know, I know that place. I've been and, there. Buddy's, you know, Buddy's, why? right? That sounds so I, familiar. I, and man. I didn't think, I didn't, I've think been there. I didn't think anything about it except that you know, like I made, you know, I said I would do something and I'll do it. Let me tell you something. And it's been years since I've done this, but I've been doing it my whole life. So I'm not, you know, it's like not new territory or anything like that. Right. But what I what ends up happening is like I I get up there and like within minutes, I then what we open with. Um, Rapid fire by priest. Nice. So, um, you know, yeah. So I, I'm up there, and like, uh, literally, like, I just felt it come back into my fucking body. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, I mean, like, thirty seconds into it, I'm like, right. oh fuck! All right, he does. I'm like, it's like I'm rethinking my whole life as I'm standing there on stage. So like, all right, so like, all right, yeah, yeah. Now I remember That's how much what... I love this shit. The rebirth. You know, and now, now I got to figure out how I could keep doing this. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. but the thing that was unique about it. Is that like the audience was my age, you know? Right. And so you know, and it's like they were like what? they were into it, you know. And I'm like, you know, and it just kind of proved the point. It's like you know what, this is what you like, you know. This is you know, I mean, yeah, this is you know, this is what we like when we're 25, when we were 25 years old or 20 years old. It's still what we fucking like, and we're still, and we're all in this fucking same room enjoying it right now. Why can't I do this? Exactly. And. And and what also was different now, you know, as opposed to back then, is that like there's an appreciation for it, you know. Like yep. I like, you know, I mean, now I, I appreciate everyone who who comes out to see it. I appreciate the other bands who who are doing it. You know, it's like it's like now it's like we're all you know, instead of like competing with each other, we're all part of like the same thing. Yeah, like it's like if you're a band, Bobby, if denim and leather, it's like I'm in full support of that. I want you guys to do fucking great. You know, right. because if you're able to do great, then so am I. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, now, and now, right. now we understand. I mean, now we understand what it's all about. Mm-hmm. Back then, we were all young, dumb, full of cum. <laughs> you're still yeah, young. Well, you you're, know, yeah, now, you're you just know, old, dumb, still, and full of cum. We still do it at this age. It's, <laughs> you know, like we none of us think we're going to be fucking rock stars anymore, right? I mean, no, we, we do it. it now because we love it. That's you know? right, that's, bro. That's it's all about the love and the passion for it. It's all about the love. You know, and like, 
that's and more like, uh, like I like I I think I'm being friends or reunited with friends, you know that, you know that you know share this, and it's a, it's a, it's a cool thing. It's like you said, it's a, it's a community type of it is mm-hmm. a community type of feeling. Let me ask you, you a know, question. Now, that benefit, now, like, you know, that benefit, you that benefit. What? Was Fred yep. involved in that? Fred Gorehow? Who? Was Fred Gorehow? No, he wasn't. Uh, what, on that what, one? What ended up happening, yeah, now Fred wasn't involved in that, but what what came out of that was that, um, you know, me and a couple of the guys that were in, um, um, uh, in, uh, in that show uh, said, hey, you know, the same thing like I just said, hey, that was fucking awesome. I mean, why don't we just continue to do this? Uh, now... Basically, if you want to look at it in a certain way, like, you know, the band that was on stage that day included Dave Sabo, so he wasn't going to be a permanent guy, clearly. Right. So we ended up going to get a guitar player, and that guitar player was Fred. Yeah, nice. so I had made a list of the, um, yeah, you know, I remember me and the other guitar player told us, I go, what do you want, like, how do we want to approach doing this? I go, I go, what I would do in this case is let's make a list, you know, let's rank that list. And whoever we would want the most is the guy we got to go and ask first. Right. You know, let him say no first. And that guy was fucking Fred, who's great, you know. And, yeah. and he said yes, you know. And then, you know, we became uh, Grindhouse, you know. Now, oh, that okay. ended up being yes, yes, kind yes. of short. It was, it was short-lived. It but was short-lived. Cool. And then yeah. it really, it was, all, it was fun while it lasted. And it, it got, you know, it just, it even, you know, it just um, made me more sure that, you know, you could do this now. You know, I mean, people say, oh, no one's going to go out and see, you know, you know, uh, 50-year-old guys playing. I go, you know, you're wrong. The other 50-year-old guys are going to go out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, so, yes, um, yes no, that's, yeah, that's so, not yeah. true. Now, let me right, tell you exactly. about short-lived. So, and, short-lived, my, as long as it's and, not as short-lived as my Uncle Louie's erection, then you're fucking fine, bro. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you're fucking fine, brother. <laughs> All right, well, then it wasn't quite that short-lived. Exactly. <laughs> 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 right. and, and and so that and then from there, me and, and the only cover band I had ever been in outside of the Grindhouse band was Rocker in in nineteen eighty and eighty one when I was like you know twenty years old. You right. Know? And, right. Um, and uh, so me and John Crothers, who had, you know was guitar playing Rocker at the time, we actually ran into some, each other somewhere. Um, and you know, and he's just like me. You know, it's always in you. You know, and. So, and that conversation that starts so many times and usually never goes anywhere, like, hey, let's get together. We'll put some together. Um, yeah, we'll I know. I hear you, know, you bro. Know, usually, that, usually that, that, that there's never a second conversation. Yeah. Hey, that. you got to get together, man. We got to jam, bro. Yeah. We got to get the band back together. Right, exactly, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's Right. In this case, we actually did it. You know? Nice. So now, so now, uh, so you had two so original Rocker, members from Rocker, you and and the guitarist, then, right? Me and John are the original members. Right. Okay. Um, his son, uh, Junior, uh, uh, is the bass player. Cool. You know, That's awesome. Uh, That's cool. Dale, that that is great. It's really cool. And, and Dale, who I mentioned earlier, um, who is uh, the drummer mm-hmm. uh, from Spider Rocker's drummer, he's the drummer, and his brother Doug Whitaker. Is, uh, is the lead guitarist, and nice. you know, it's a, you know, and uh, I cool. love playing with these guys. Yeah, we do like we do a lot of stuff that we actually did back in the original rocker. We used to do you know the old new wave of British heavy metal stuff. So we're doing Saxon and Tigers of Pantang, and of course Motorhead and nice, you know, stuff like that. Along with the Priest and you know all that other stuff. Um, so yeah, yeah, same I mean, kind like, of stuff we do. You bro. know, I'm, that's great, man. We got to yeah, do a night yeah, together. You know what? And like I like. Although my body disagrees, I feel like I'm 25 years old. <laughs> I know the feeling, bro. <laughs> Fucking yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I mean, you know, and you know, and I'm not the only one. There's you. There's like a band Demaris. Yes. You know, uh, and, and her band with Mercury Rising. I mean, you Mercury know, Mercury Rising, yeah. The amazing, lovely Pam yeah. Demaris. She of the Absolutely. massive voice. No shit. She's I mean, fucking I mean, that's, awesome. Uh, that's, she's a great that's, person that's, too. That's, she's Very like nice. a force of nature for sure. And you know, I mean, you know, and you, you know it, Bobby. I mean, like you know, while it's almost like we're we're getting a chance to like relive our youth now. Mm-hmm. You know, I I, I I don't know if it's just around here. And, you know, it's, it's a midlife crisis whatever, in all of you. Listen, pal. <laughs> it's I'll the midlife. I'll give you. It's a midlife crisis in all of you. 
fucking uh, prick. That, yeah, that's true. Maybe that's it. But you know, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's it's cheaper to do this than to go buy a fucking uh, like a two seater car. Tell him, right? Okay. Tell him, yeah, tell him, Steve. It is definitely better to do that. You're tell correct. Him. You're correct. I agree with you. <laughs> Hey, I'm not that far behind, man. I'm, uh, you get, you I'm get, only like five years behind you guys, so. You get depressed, you yeah, go and buy a exactly new vibrator, right. Roach, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> vibrator? <laughs> Where the hell does that come from? Is you that, know it, it always degenerates, the conversation. Is that why you're bouncing up and down always on your degenerates, seat? Always degenerates, always. He's bouncing up and down on his seat. I think all he's got all I got to say there. is, Steve, I understand. I, I totally fucking get it, man. I mean... It's yeah. like going into it's kind of like going into a little time machine, man. When you're up there in yeah. that moment, it's you don't feel the fucking aches, you don't feel the pains. You just feel yeah. with me. It and... might have to do with a couple shots here and there, but you know. But when I get yeah. home the next day, you're like, oh, oh man, my feet hurt. Yeah, the next oh day, man, my bones hurt. hurt. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. fuck it, bro. Yeah. Right? Exactly. You live for the moment, man. Like just like everything. The, yeah, the way I look at it, dude, Steve, man, we don't know when the fucking end is going to come, man. So why the fuck don't yep. we enjoy every minute we have exactly. here right now? I agree. Exactly. I agree right with or that wrong? Hundred fucking percent. Look yeah. at the fucking Tom Petty, that. man. I agree that it's gravy and not sauce. Right? But the tomato pie thing, I'm not so sure. About. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tomato pie. <laughs> oh no, Uncle Louis, go away. <laughs> Hey, go fuck yourself, now, when I was a kid growing, When I was a kid growing up in Brooklyn, they called pizza beets. Beets? Oh, uh, let's go get some beets. Oh, yeah, beets. Was beets. Beets. Like, beets. Beets. Right. Let's beets. get some beets. Beets. Gotcha. Like beets. beets. Yeah. <laughs> well, when, I'll tell you what. When I went to Italy, man, I had no idea that the pizza Italy? was so different, man. Yeah, Italy. Why was it different? Saying. Because it's not tomato sauce. It's fucking crushed tomatoes, bro. Yeah. That's it's like they that's take... Yeah. That's um, the original. They take like a plum tomato and they crush it. And it's crushed onto the... onto The um, the, crust. the crust. And what it is, is you don't go and you don't order a large or a small or a medium. It's all personal pies. No matter what, it's a personal right. pie. And, um, and it's, it's you like... You eat it with a knife and fork. Yeah, and but it's like they'll have... On their uh, uh, a prosciutto pie, you know what I mean, or or uh, or broccoli chicken uh, chicken pie. <laughs> broccoli <laughs> Rob, he's breaking my balls now with the broccoli Rob. But but you know what I mean. It's it's all these different uh, yeah. what we would call here gourmet pie. Over there, yeah, that's what that's it just is. A regular, yeah, that's, that's what just what it is, yeah. man. But I mean, it, I I enjoyed oh, now, it. Now I enjoyed I'm it. Hungry now. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to fucking Taco Bell after this, <laughs> prick. <laughs> right, right, Roach. Oh, come on, this guy. You can't, why don't you go to Scoratinos? Oh, Scoratinos will be closed by the you time. Know, you know, you know who's pretty good over by you. No, um, Scoratinos is open until eight o'clock. I know that. Yeah, my yeah, but we still got something else to record tonight. So, Uncle Louis uh, coming. Okay. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> that crusty pizza right by you on five sixteen. Crusty pizza. Wait, I don't like that. I'm not. Yeah. I'm gonna. Like, I, you I, don't I like don't, them. Like me, I go to. Um, no, I go to Luigi's and there, and we just got a flyer for some new place. Which I'm as soon as I'm done with you guys, I'm gonna go over there and get some fucking pizza. <laughs> oh, you see you, that man? He's making. Get, we're making, making him hungry. He's making us hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we're all talking food. <laughs> Unbelievable. My buddy Firm. <laughs> I, I I would I would I would name the name of the pizzeria I'm going to, but I've never tried it, so I'm not going to plug. No, it. Don't, no, don't don't no, plug no. it yet. Don't plug I'm it yet. I'm going to an undisclosed new pizzeria. <laughs> I can plug Scorntino's as fucking number one. Yeah, there's no doubt yeah. about it in Jersey for me. I don't know. My yeah. epic. Go oh, fuck yourself, pal. I, I, Listen, it's pal. Just, it's just and when I go blah. there, I get when I go there, I get free food thanks to, to, to my my dear sweet daughter. I'm working there. Oh, dude, fantastic. they're my Steve. They're my cousins, bro. The Did you know they're my pizza. cousins or no? You don't know they're my cousins. The Scortinos are Scortinos his cousins. Scortinos are my cousins, bro. Is that right? No bullshit. Man. That is no true. Bullshit, you bro. Wow, no yes. fucking kidding. No Holy shit. shit, bro. I used to you go swimming in the pool also. back in the day. Now you'll really no get kidding. free food. No. <laughs> 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 Now he's yeah. now he's going to tell what on your small, daughter. What a small world! <laughs> it is a small world. Definitely <laughs> is a small world. Well, what, well, let me tell you, my buddy, my buddy Furman Suero, DJ FJ, will tell you. He turned me on to a place in Woodbridge. If you're ever in the Woodbridge area, check out Nunzios. It's uh, yeah. fucking good, man. Oh, over by the oh, police station, main, main, own, main street, by the, pol- good. by the police station. <sighs> Dude, we get the. Um, 
a penne vodka with ch- with chicken. Yeah. Holy Christ! This pizza weighs about ten fucking pounds, dude. Unbelievable. That's okay. We're all here to have fun. So it's all. That's yeah. right, and that's what it is. The metal Bully in the Road show yeah. is all about having fun. All about fun. Promoting the great metal and introducing the people to some killer music. I, I just what I want to do. I want to spread the word, man, about Death Mask, bro. Savage Choir, Death Mask, oh. Rocker. It's all fucking good, man. Awesome. Well, I, I I appreciate that very much, and I will get you. I will get you. I'll put that rod. That Savage Choir CD in your hand. Yes, please Thank do you that. For your promotion S- of, send of, send of us an MP3 Man, or please. two, Steve, like right away, so we can put it on the show in the playlist for this show. I, I, I will absolutely do that. That and, way we and, do a Death yeah, Mask you know, song I mean, and that. You know, we'll do both. That would be fantastic. You know, Excellent, um, man. So uh, listen, go and, get yourself yeah. some pizza. Some beets. Mm-hmm. Get some beets. Some beets. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm stuck with Taco Bell with this fucking guy. Oh, uh, that's fucking terrible. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> wait, wait, do that. Wait, wait, that this, this guy. Dokehead. He's the one. He... You can't have this conversation like that and then go fucking talk. I know. Stop, hey, this guy's a fucking Puerto Rican over here. What do you want me to tell you? He goes to me. Mm-hmm. He's, he's like, mm-hmm. all right, hey, we're definitely going to Taco Bell tonight. I'm like, what? Don't fucking blame it on me. How exciting that is. (laughs) I know. I'm like, oh, gosh. Come on. Thanks. (laughs) With extra extra jalapenos for Uncle Louie. This thing could talk about the burn. Oh, uh, well, yeah, shit, thanks. Man. Here, let me, let me, let me. Steve, say, um, man, God bless you, bro. Uh, Give us some uh, shout outs, bro. Come on. Uh, thank you. You know what? Anyone listening here, um, uh, you know, um, my local band here is Rocker, as we're talking about. You know, good old heavy metal. Love for you to come out. Hey to all the guys in Rocker. Uh, hey to Vicky Richmond, my babe. Uh, hey to my kids. And guys, you are fucking awesome. And, and you know, you're. You make this a lot of fun. Thank, Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Thank we you, appreciate Steve. it, too, man. Care. How can I help you? Oh, hello. Hello. Hello? Oh, my God. Hi. Uh, is this the clinic? Yes, sir. This is for oh, Surgeon Care. Jesus Christ. I got to come down there. I had a little thing going on over here. I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I got a problem over here. Okay. Uh, have you been here? Have you been here before, sir? I know. Never been there, honey. Oh, okay. Can I okay. tell you what Can I, I did? Can I just have your Ow. insurance card and ID, please? You got somebody I can talk to real quick about this because I don't even know if, I'm, uh, if you're going to be able to help me. Okay, okay sir. Go put it in the sink. Hello. Yeah, you got a man there? Because I'm a little bit... I don't Which want insurance you... do you have again? I'm sorry. I got it in the Oxford. You have Oxford? Okay, sir. So, yes, you can come in, okay? Yeah, boy. Well, put somebody on the phone with me, please. I could tell what happened. I'm sorry. What was that, sir? I could tell you what happened. Well, you got a man there I could speak with? Um, you can speak to me, sir. Put dick in the sink. Hey, I, I, I was having relations with my wife. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought I was putting a little lubrication on it, and I put Bengay on my on my penis, and it, and it burns. Okay, sir. So you can come in, okay? No, it puts your dick in the sink. My wife keeps telling me just start. But why I try putting water on it, it still burns. Sir, you can come in, okay? Well, let me speak to the doctor, okay? Nobody wants to talk about the burns. Okay, give me one second, all right? <laughs> okay, hello? Nigga, just go yes. get some ice from the freezer. Hello? Yes, well, I spoke to the doctor, man. Yeah. Oh, sir. Yes. Right? And the doctor says that you have to just wash it off. Okay? Just wash it off as soon as possible, okay? Ow. And if you're still experiencing pain, you can come in, okay? I got a bag of frozen peas on it right now. It ain't it open. To, sir, you have to take it off. You have to wear it under nigga, water and take it off, okay? I told you put your dick in the sink, nigga. All right. He needs to, yes, ma'am. He needs to wash it off as quick as possible, okay? Hello. Hello, sweetheart. 
He needs to wash wash it off as quickly as possible. I okay? told this stupid ass Italian motherfucker he need to put that dick in the sink. I told him that. Mm -hmm. He don't want to mm -hmm. listen. You know what I'm he saying? He needs to wash it off, okay? I think he doing that right he's now. Mm -hmm. That nigga need and to wash... That yep. Listen, that nigga need to wash his dick more often than just when he put Ben Gay on it. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. What's up, people? We're back. A pretty lengthy break. I think Roach is on his way. Are you on your way to being drunk yet? Mm, no. <laughs> yeah, it took him. He went, mm, no. No. You know he's fucking mm, getting no. there. If it takes him that long to say it, he's getting there, man. No you doubt. You think? I know it. I know you, pal. I know you. You know me? <laughs> I know you, buddy. <clears throat> anyway, we have a guest here in the studio. Holy crap. I told you guys she was stopping in. <laughs> <laughs> not pretty. She's not too happy, right? No, not too happy, not too no, pretty. No, I ain't happy, and you know why I ain't happy, motherfucker. And not yeah. too pretty. <laughs> not too pretty. Dude, that's my aunt, bro. Hey, Don't talk about her like that, dude, man. Dude, why do you guys say it so loud? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> I'll come over there and smack you upside your dumb head. God damn it. Damn, dude. See what you did? Pissing her off now. She's already just, pissed I, off, I, man. I, was, I, was I would just not trying to talk her. to you. I was just trying to talk to you. Well, then you should mind your own goddamn business, motherfucker. All right, listen, why? Mind yeah. your own motherfucking business, you Puerto Rican little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> why you got to bring race into it, Wahida? Uh, oh. And Wahida, why you got to bring race into this for? Huh? Cause for reals. For, why? For reals. He's the <laughs> motherfucker who started shit with me. I didn't come here to, to talk to him. I came here to talk to the people. What no, people? I don't know. Your she's, peeps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's in BLM. Don't fuck with her, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Black Lives I'm Matter. Gl I'm glad I got this chicken wire in front of me. Damn straight. Black lives do matter, motherfucker. Okay, Wahida. Do you want to come on the mic and tell us what the fuck you're doing here in the first place? Why are you here? Why? Please, but why? Brother, you know why I'm here. Y'all knows why I'm here. Why am why? I here, bro? Because <laughs> you got a beef with... That's Cardi right, B. I got the beef. You got the beef with, with Cardi B. Cardi B, fake ass rapping, weak ass, ugly ass, burka wearing ass, <laughs> camel riding, motherfucking hoe. She might have the number one single in the country right now, but she ain't got nothing on Wahida. Because I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to bust out a song. I'm going to tear her a new asshole. You know what I'm saying? Tear her a new asshole? Mm -hmm. How? What are you going to do? That just doesn't sound good. I didn't ask you. <laughs> I did not ask you for your opinion. No, bully, she did not ask you for that opinion. But well, what, the fuck? Uh, what, 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 are what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, I'm going to record a rap. I'm going to rap battle you. I'm calling you out, ho. Whoa. I'm calling you out. You calling out a hoe? Oh, she a hoe. You think so? I know so. Were you with her? No. <laughs> Did you want to be? <laughs> Does I want to be? Hell no. <laughs> I just want to tear that shit up. Cute, weak ass. Bodak yellow. What the fuck is a Bodak yellow? A Bodak yellow? Word. That's the name of the song. That number one. Yo, this bitch don't even know how to rap. She sound like she sleep. The bitch sound like she sleep. She don't know how to rap. She ain't saying shit. All she do is talking about, I don't need to dance. I don't need to make moves. I got the money. I don't need to make moves. I got the money. I don't uh, need to make moves. I got the money. Never heard that song, but I guess what? The shit is weak. Guess what? What? You got it? Can you do better? I can do better. Can you do better? I can do better. You're going to see you that think? shit. You're going to see that shit, motherfucker. All right, Wahida, listen. I'm standing right in front of you. I want to know. I'm telling can you, you do better. I can do better, motherfucker. You're gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna challenge you. You ain't gonna do shit. 
I'm gonna challenge I'm gonna you. I'm gonna go to DJ FJ. That nigga gonna make a beat. Is he gonna be sleeping? I don't know that nigga sleep. <laughs> right now, I think that nigga sleep. Either that or his fat ass getting nunzios. All right, listen. What I want is, I want to hear you do a recording of a rap against her. I'm gonna do it. You are? Are you? Mm-hmm. For real? I'm gonna For reals? do it. For, For reals? reals. For, For reals? reals, yo. For you reals. Sure? Next show, man, Wahida. I want to hear it on the next show. You're going to hear it on the next show. Oh, my You're Lord. You're going to hear it on the next show. Oh, my Lord. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Peace and love. Peace out to all y'all niggas out there. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all is heavy metal niggas. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to bring that shit. I'm going to bring it to that camel riding, burka wearing, fake ass Muslim wannabe, ugly ass not even really black bitch. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I'm going to force feed that bitch some pork. Listen, why he don't. I'm going to bring a pound of bacon. I'm going to rub it all over that motherfucker face. I'm kind of scared of you. I'm going to rub it all over that bitch face. I'm going to make the bitch eat raw bacon. I ain't even going to cook it. You're scary. Make that Muslim ass eat that You're motherfucking scary. raw bacon. Scary. I'm getting all wound up now. I got to get out of here. I need Wahida, some. I love you, but I need some MD Fitty Fitty. Oh, you know what? Mad Dog Fitty Fitty. Yeah, I want your some nephew electric. Took mo- a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> I want. Some- <laughs> I want some electric melon, motherfucker. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> Oh, my Lord. All right, I'm out. I got to go. <laughs> you got to go. I'm out, motherfucker. You got to go. Go fuck yourself, Roach. Hey. Oh, boy. You better She's watch out. She's been with my uncle too long, and she tells you to <laughs> fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the people in my life. Oh, Lord. People in my life. I apologize about that, everybody. I hope there's probably 15 people left the chat. <laughs> All I got to say is... Holy shit. Don't follow her lead because you will end up with <laughs> the A I D S. M O D, Metal Bully and the Roach. There is nothing wrong with your computer. Do not attempt to log off. Metal Bully and the Roach are controlling your internet. Did you hear that sound? Did you see that orb? Did you feel the touch of a cold, dead hand? What was that? Dogman? Bigfoot, perhaps? Was it bullshit? Or was it real? Together we'll find out because there's a lot of shit going on. Welcome to tonight's episode of Paranormal Craptivity with your hosts, Metal Bully and the Roach. <laughs> Can you feel the foreboding? Let's but. talk about Bigfoot now, Roach. Let's not talk about toenails and toes. and Let's talk about uh, Sasquatch. What do you think it is? Do you think it's uh, a it, monkey? Or no, an no, ape? no, no, no. I think it's... Early man? Yeah, it's like more of like an early man. Okay. But I can agree with that. He's... If, if it's real... It is real. I have to say if. Don't say if. I do have to because you have, there's no, you know, like body parts. Of course, there's no body parts, man. You know what I mean, like there's no skeleton. First of there's all, no anything like that. But I do believe they bury that, their that dead. But I do believe that they do exist. They do exist. They bury their but dead. But it's just like an elephant graveyard. 
Do they <laughs> find them that, that, that often? Exactly. When do you see a bear dead in the woods? When do you find a bear skeleton? When do you even come upon a deer skeleton? Right. I know guys who hunt for fucking years for all their life. They're out there in the woods and they don't fucking even find a dead deer or deer carcass or any of that shit. Bones, none of it. Because when out, you're out in that, in that temperament and you're in the woods, there's, first of all, so many scavengers. Everything's out there. Deer mites, everything. Well, the, the shit decomposes a lot faster. Okay? But not only that, these, these creatures utilize every part of the deer, I'm sure. They probably eat all of that shit. No, same thing. What about them? And plus, when they, they have deer mites. Like when I they said, die. they eat bone, you know, deer mites. Yeah, but there's guys out there all the time. Yeah, and they see them all the time. You know how many times? No, hunt- uh, no, I'm seeing about the carcasses. The good band, carcass. Carcass is a great band. Anyway, I know plenty of uh, reports when they have had hunters who've had them in their sights and they refuse to pull the trigger. And there's a reason for that. And the reason for that was everybody says the same thing. They looked to human. And they were afraid if they pulled the trigger and killed one, they would be killing a human being and they couldn't live with that on their conscience. Right. That's no bullshit. Yeah, I, I can understand that. And I can appreciate it. But. No buts. No, there is a but. And you're it's, sitting on it's, it. I am sitting on it, but it's also, it's a Sasquatch. Right. You take one shot on one, that's it. First of all, these things are so massive, especially if you come across an adult. They're three and a half, four foot never saw wide. One. They are from seven feet to ten feet tall, sometimes bigger. These things weigh about 600 fucking pounds. Even if you have a high-powered rifle and you shoot one, likely, most likely, it's going to fucking, might hurt it, but it's not going to kill it. And it's going to come after you and wrap that well, fucking gun around your neck. Depend, depend, it's going to happen. Depending on how good of a shot you are, how good of a hunter you are. You can shoot it in yeah, the head. I mean, you can shoot it in the head. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying that it's impenetrable like you are. You can penetrate but, me, pal. You want to penetrate yeah, oh, me? You love penetration. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I'm hoping Bigfoot penetrates me. <laughs> oh, my God. Like Wait, that guy on that YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> the good one, like, that uh, one video. that, that he was, was flo- jerking off hey, or something. <laughs> that one video that was floating around uh, Facebook Messenger. Yeah. <laughs> was it in the view? Oh, with the fucking <laughs> four-foot dildo. Going in her stomach. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. So, yeah. Roach, stop talking about Bigfoot right, penis because that's... that's not what we're here for. Okay, pal? <laughs> <laughs> you brought it up. Not me. It always degenerates into cock somehow on this show. Right, Roach? No, oh, because of you. Not me. Why are you blaming me? Because you're the one who brings it up. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't on me. So did you guys, New Jersey people out there, and we have some New Jersey people in the chat. I know you guys heard of the Jersey Devil. What do you think? My theory is that it is actually Sasquatch and that it's being misidentified as as the Jersey Devil. I mean, it's possible because a lot of sightings happen in the Pine Barrens and they're seeing this thing. And um, I remember I heard one account where people were camping in the Pine Barrens, and um, this thing was cir- literally circling their camp. And um, it was what they believed to be, to be a Bigfoot. You know? They're definitely real. I know they're real. I had my own encounter. <laughs> you had an encounter with I, a Bigfoot? Not, I did. No, I, you didn't. Actually, two encounters. Shut the fuck up. Uh, you know, this is this is the kind of co-host that I have. I'm trying to be serious about paranormal activity here. I've never heard of this, so I'm going to call I never you told out. You, I'm calling I you out. I never out. told you. I have not told a lot of people about this story because I, uh, the very reaction that you're giving me right now. I don't feel when like was being... was the last time you were in the fucking woods? ...criticized. <laughs> this was in the 90s, pal. This was in like around 1996. Where? 
Apshua Mountain. Now it's Apshua Preserve. Okay. Is that in Jersey? It sounds familiar. It's I'm just trying to figure out where it's at. Essex County, right next to Sussex right, County. So it is Jersey. It is Jersey, absolutely Jersey. West Milford, to be exact. There's swampland, thousands and thousands of acres of swampland that connects. The Great Swamp of New Jersey connects. Um, in Sussex County, they call them Big Red Eye. They don't call them Bigfoot. They call them Big Red Eye. Um, there's a, there's been many encounters in Jersey. There's there, these things are everywhere. They're all over the United States in the wooded areas. If you want to believe that crap, <sighs> so in other words, you're saying it's crap. That it's crap activity, not activity. Oh, dude, I gotta press your buttons. Proof. This is a very sensitive subject. For proof. Me. What did he do for you? Plenty of proof. Did he touch you? There's hairs. On your piker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that you're making jokes about this. All right? If you had this happen to you, what happened to me, you'd be shit your fucking pants. Is that why your ass is so big? Asshole. I don't have a big ass. You got a Asshole. flat ass. <laughs> you're a fucking piece of shit, bro. Fucking dick. You brought this up. I'm just trying to find out. I'm asking you questions. I didn't say anything about Sasquatch fucking banging me in the ass, okay, pal? That's you. It's all you. You're trying to make Wishful this Wishful thinking all, on your part. You're making this all deceptive, like, oh, my God, no. It's not what happened. I never told you. I was like, what Well, it's what true, man. <laughs> it is true. I wouldn't fucking so, lie. Why, what, do I, what do I have to gain to lie about this? That's were you sexually about. molested by a Bigfoot? <sighs> no. <laughs> I was not sexually abused by a Bigfoot, okay? It's but I did have an encounter. Oh, not abused, two separate, but maybe molested. Oh, my God. Two separate encounters, and the second encounter was quite scary, my friend. Was it? Yes, it was. Where? Same spot. I went back the <laughs> next year. Ass? Same spot. I went back the next year. <laughs> it would have been scary in my ass, too. <sighs> I can see where this is going. No, no, no. Talk. No, talk, I can talk, see where talk, this is going. Talk. I think talk. we're at the end of our segment. No talk. No, no more. No, you getting scared? I'm not. I'm not subjecting myself to your ridicule, pal. You scared? No, I'm not subjecting <laughs> myself to your ridicule, <laughs> jerk off. I'm, I'm trying gonna, to be serious. I'm about, trying to be serious. I'm also. trying to. I'm trying to tell you right now. Just say the story. I'm not gonna say a word. No, I'm not Don't. gonna fucking even say it because you're Done. not gonna do nothing but crack jokes. Nope, I'm not saying nothing. I'm even gonna take the headphones off. No off. way. I'm not telling you. No fucking way. I'll tell serious people who are serious about this subject. I'll try to be serious. No, you're not. You're you're too drunk to be serious. No, I wish I was. What's up you, dude? You can't even talk. Oh, I can talk. (laughs) Robin, I would love to tell you. And I'm not even kidding. You guys know when I'm kidding when I'm joking because I would... Listen, I'm taking off the headphones. (laughs) It's all on him now. Yeah. Okay, pal. No, I'm not even going to do it. Do it. No. Because you're still going to make fun of me because you can still hear me without the headphones, you piece of shit. I know. (laughs) Oh, no, you didn't. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. My my aunt's even getting pissed at you now. You heard her, right? I heard her. And you came from all the way over there. (laughs) And I know who it was, too. Oh, God. Anyway. I don't have my headphones on. Anyway. We're going to lead this into our next segment right now because this is going nowhere. And uh, it's kind of a perfect segue into our next segment. (laughs) LaVey? Yeah. Everybody get ready. Prepare yourself for this. Because it's coming on. Because <laughs> we don't know what the fuck. I don't know. This guy tells me one thing. It happens to be another thing. Oh. Roach, can you feel the foreboding essence in the air? I feel it. Oh. What's that? That, mu- that? that music means what one is thing. That? It's the Satan. Shut up, Uncle Lou. Freaking Uncle Lou. Here we are once again. 
at the most coveted moment of the Metal Bully and the Roach radio show. The one, the only illegitimate son of the founder of the Church of Satan, Mr. Stephen LaVey. What is going on, Mr. LaVey? What's up? Bully and the Roach, glad to be back. What's happening, boys? It's always good to have you back, bro. Always. It's always our pleasure. We can't wait till you fucking move to Jersey so you can be on uh, as an in-studio guest even more. Yeah, I might be taking a plane ride over that way pretty soon, so I think if I do, I'm going to hook up with you guys and come on in. Take the yeah. plane to the train. <laughs> the plane to the train. <laughs> what a fag. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell how old I am by that fucking commercial, ain't it? Holy Christ. Take the train to the plane. Take the train to the plane. The fucking millennials are going, what? What the fuck? Well, millennials wouldn't listen to this show anyway. (laughs) (laughs) It's not safe for them. No, it's not. They need a safe space. There is no safe space on the bully show. No safe space. Biatch. We've been getting a lot of... uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback from uh, the LeVay segment. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah. I'm people going, dude, that guy's fucked up. That <laughs> 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 dude's fucked up, man. Good. Yeah. I, have a, I have no control over what comes out of That's Stephen mouth. LeVay's mouth. <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> and with that, what do you have for us today, Mr. LeVay? I got a couple good ones. I was sitting around. I said, you know... It's time to pick on the gays a little bit. I think they've been getting a free ride, so I think I gotta throw some gay ones in there. Oh no. A free ride. <laughs> a ride, get it? A ride. A free ride. He said ride. Oh, yeah, free ride. <laughs> oh boy. Let me uh let me start off with one here, boys. Let's see what we got here. Why do gay guys have mustaches? Christ. Why, Why is that, Mr. LeVay? I like to stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that why Bobby still has his? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Easy! Insubordinate. There he is. The oh, fucking man. insubordinate that he is. <laughs> insubordinate. Hit us with number two. Come on. Not number two that way. (laughs) I don't need no Jell-O brand pudding on my face, pal. All right. Here's a question for you. What do you call a five-year-old with no friends? Bobby Bobby. Lucas. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You can't make that shit up. Oh, my God. You're killing me. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt that you would think that, Roach. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What do you call it? What do you call a five-year-old with no friends? Tell me. The Sandy Hook survivor. <laughs> oh, my God. False flag. False flag. Uh, Sandy Hook was a false flag. Don't make me get my tinfoil hat on. <laughs> hey, he does have one. I do. I go to sleep with it on every night. <laughs> it's like there that. it is. <laughs> Roach found my tinfoil hat. I gotta hide it in a different spot now. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Stephen Levey, what do you got? Come on, give us a couple more. Give us two more. Two more. Right, two more. You- Cause I know you got them. You fucking sick fuck. I give you two more. Why are faggots the first ones out of a hotel in the morning? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kill me I now. Know. Kill me now. <laughs> Why? Because they get their shit packed the night before. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we love our gay listeners. Don't listen to him. We accept you. We love you. Yes, I just might be half a fag, according to my uncle Louie. Anyway, (laughs) (laughs) oh shit! Oh man, you're sick, Stephen. 
Eh, so I've been told, but that's okay. <laughs> you got to get a better connection all the way in L.A., man. I hear that L.A., you got that L.A. connection. Like that's Ronnie James Dio. Oh, yeah. Rainbow, Ran Ronnie James Dio. What album is that from what? L.A. Connection? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Off the Long live rock and roll, I think. Rock and roll. L.A. Connection. Maybe I don't L.A. Know. L.A. <laughs> All right, Mr. Fucking Sick Bastard LeVay. Get, hit us with number four. All right. I can definitely hit you with number four. I think I saved the best one for last. You go, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Go with your evil self. Go with your evil ass. All right. Uh, here, it, here it goes. Let's see how this one goes over. Hello. <laughs> I think God is trying to tell us something, bro. <laughs> Mr. LeBay, you back? Yeah. We keep losing you, man. All right. I you better talk to your fucking baby. cell phone provider out there in Los Angeles. I think there's some outside forces <laughs> stopping this. <laughs> <laughs> Otherworldly forces. Yeah, I think so. Something's interfering with my signal. I don't know what it could be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's give it another uh, college try. More? Yes, bro. Try it again. All right, let's go for one more. What's the difference between a washing machine and a 12-year-old? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't like this one already. <laughs> what is it? A washing machine doesn't cry when I dump a load in it. <laughs> oh, man. There's a black, there's a black cloaked figure in the corner of my room right now. It's, <laughs> it's coming right at us. <laughs> oh, dear God. It's Heaven got a sickle, me. too. Oh, there's something oh, really man. major, majorly wrong with you, Mr. LeVay. Majorly <laughs> wrong. <laughs> majorly. I don't know what it is, but the lights are starting to flicker here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're done. Remember what your old man said on his deathbed? There's something wrong. Oh, no. There's something wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh shit! You're following. I think you bet on the wrong horse. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're following close in his hoof steps. <laughs> his hoof steps. <laughs> oh Jesus! No, don't say that either. Oh my God! He'll come get you. Anyway, it's been a blast, my friend. Yes, yeah, Steve. As always. Should, should we even be calling him our friend? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, oh I don't know. God. Listen, man, we hope to see you soon. You said you might be in town for Halloween. We're hoping so. We'd love to have you on the show as an in-studio guest for our Halloween spooktacular. Spooktacular. Well, yeah. Well, I should be in town around then. If I'm in town, you're definitely my second stop. <laughs> What's the first? <laughs> What's the first stop? The orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> the orphanage. Oh, oh my man. god. Oh man. All right, Stephen. <laughs> on that. Definitely very wrong with him. I would keep on. You know, I'm gonna have to fucking put the pop screen on all the time now. I keep banging my fucking stupid head into the fucking mic. Well, if it wasn't so big. To the boom stand. <laughs> yeah, I wish, wish, pal, my head was. <laughs> uh, let's not even start that shit. Let's not even go there. I am really, really impressed. With? I'm impressed with Jet. Jet. Oh. You really geez. are serious, and that really makes me feel good. I mean, you know, she's into cryptozoology. She knows about Sasquatch. Does she now? Yes, she seems to, man. I oh. mean, unless she's pulling my leg, but I'll have to. Uh, <laughs> don't. Don't, Roach. I'm not, please don't. I'm holding back. Yeah, just please don't. <laughs> don't. Jet, we will talk, you and I, about the Squatch. And I will tell you my story, but I will not. Everybody has to suffer. Because of one ignorant <laughs> fucking hand. Ignorant. 
Yeah, you bastard. Dude, you live in Perth Amboy. There's no fucking yeah, woods Yeah, I here. live in Perth Amboy, but I wasn't in Perth Amboy and it happened. It was an hour and a fucking half away. All right. Okay. What happened? I'm not telling you now. Why? The segment's over. Why? No. Segment's Why are you over. Scared? Segment's Why are you so scared? over. You're scared. Next, maybe next episode, yeah. if you're not so drunk, I'll tell you. Hey, tell you what. Take okay. your skirt off, be a man, and just tell the story. Yeah. No, I'm not. Tomorrow. I mean, uh, tomorrow. I mean, next week, I mean. I mean, next week, yeah. Maybe next <laughs> week I'll do it. See how you are, you fucking asshole? No. That's let's why. see the way you are. That's why. The segment Jackass. is over. <laughs> over. Anyway. Check ass. And, you know, we're supposed to. Uh, I just got a text a minute ago from uh, my uncle. And it looks like he's out. He's outside. He texts me to check on. Uh, oh, here he is. Oh Christ! Hey, what's going on, you pricks? What's up, Uncle Lou? Where's my tomato pie? At? I don't know. It's still at the pizzeria, Lou. You big fat fuck. Yeah, you're supposed to have one tonight. You said you was gonna have one. I ain't get the money, man. Taco Bell for me tonight. No fucking yeah, pizza. Yeah. Roach is buying. <laughs> yeah, that's what the bully says. Uncle Louie, how are you doing? Hey, fuck you, pal. I ain't your Mexican shit. I don't Uncle Louie, why Mexican. does it always got to go to fucking race with you two? I'm not even Mexican. I'm he's, Puerto Rican. He's... <laughs> what the fuck? You look like a little Mexican, pal. What are you, two foot tall, brown, like a Mexican? Yeah, he's and not, he's not two foot tall. <laughs> yes, and I'm three foot. <laughs> <laughs> he's three foot. And three foot. You three foot. Three at foot. Le- not at, three at, foot. At least. My God. All right, Uncle Louie, what are you doing here, man? Really, let's let's cut to the chase tonight, pal. Hey, all right, yeah, right, yeah, right. You, 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 you listen. I, I'm coming here for a good reason tonight. Really? Yeah. I'm going to make these people... Do you love Puerto Ricans? I, I love all races, pal. Okay. All races. I, I, I hate everyone equally. Yeah, well, that's your problem, tough guy. I, I'm gonna I tell love you, you. That's fine, too. Just don't touch my genitalia. My testiculars is off limits to you, pal. Both of them? Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm here to to tell y'all guys that you should love each other. Yeah. All right. I agree with you. We got a lot of this uh, uh, interweb uh, interweb silliness. Nobody talks to nobody no more. Right? Right? Everybody texts. Right? Well, who talks? The kids don't even go out and play. The kids just sit on the uh, iPhone. First of all, I want to know where where are these kids getting six seven hundred dollars for a fucking iPhone eight? You told me that, pal. Well, mommy and daddy are just paying for it. Yeah, mommy and daddy's fucking insane, pal. Yeah, I know. So, anyways, I'm here to spread some of the love from the late seventies with yous, right? That's right. Remember when? You used to be able to shake your booties, get down, have fun, get funky, right? Uh huh. Well, you uh, this is much better than what you was doing before you had the Satan on again. Oh, the Satan! I remember. You had the Satan. That that guy, he's the Satan. Yeah, that's right. Steve Lafay. He's a prick. That's right. Steve Lafay. The Satan. You you guys need to stop. What are you talking about, prick? He's a prick. You guys need. How is he a prick? Because he's the devil. He's the but Satan. How is he the devil? I just son of the Satan. Oh, because he's son of Satan? Yeah, he's a little bay. You sure? He's a little bay, no? No, uh, yeah. It just that doesn't mean he's. Oh, it's a Satan. church of Satan, no? No. His old man. His old man was a church of Satan, no, prick. All right. All right, prick. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll tell you All what. right, prick. Uncle Louie. Drop I'll the wait, subject, I'll prick. Let, I will let you go on this. Hey, go fuck yourself, pal. Oh, I wish I could. Oh, fuck yourself. I'd be in pornos. Anyway, you wouldn't make no money in pornos the size of that, PP. Yeah, wow. I know. That's <laughs> you Uncle are, Louie, you're the best. That's goddamn right. All right. Don't you forget it. So anyways, 
Like I says, right? right. I want you guys to shut off your your living room lights. <laughs> and what the <laughs> hell was that? Holy <laughs> Christ. What was that? I don't know. I don't even want to know. These goddamn cats, I'll tell you. You know what it was? What was that? That was a freaking ghost. It's scared. a paranormal. Yeah. That's because you had the Satan here. No, because you're here. That's because you had the Satan here. No, the Satan was not here. He was at my house. Anyways, dim the lights, turn on the strobe light. If you got one of those crystal day balls that hangs from the ceiling, or just like a uh, spins around and uh, does all the lights, crazy lights all over, turn it on. Uncle Louie's here with another song. You guys know you'll love it. Here we go. And you will love it. You'll love it. I heard you like my music so much that you want to hear more. Well, I'm going to oblige you. Take you back to when times were simpler. Before the cell phones. Before the interweb. And all that garbage. When people used to talk to each other, when people used to really socialize, when we used to get together and shake our booties. That's right. You remember John Travolta when he first started out? I'm going to take you back to those days right now. Saturday Night Fever with the Bee Gees. But I call it the tree cheese, like a tree cheese tomato pie. And this is tomato pie. Let's go, shake your booty! Drinks it up and 
Louis Simone. You fuck your own hey, damn self up. I'm just trying to help you. Hey, no. Hey, that motherfucker, no. that's it. Hey. Uh. Oh, motherfucker. Uh. Can you ever catch a break? Yeah, I'll give you a broken oh, you head. Fuck Fuck you, motherfucker. No. My uncle's fucked up, man. I apologize for that stupid shit. I didn't know that was what it's going to be. Did you, Roach? I had no clue. Hey, go fuck yourself, pal. But that was uh, Lou, that, that was kind of cool. Everybody seemed to really like it, though, right? Yeah, that was yeah, kind of cool. Hey, go fuck yourself, pal, you see? Well, I guess. What am I going to say? I can't say nothing bad. No. Did the people not, dig in it? Not at all. Right? Not at all. Hey, you, uh, I made him shake their booties. <laughs> You're fucked up, <laughs> Uncle Lou. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You got to go, man. Go eat your tomato pie yeah. somewhere else. Talk to you later, Uncle Lou. All right, bro? Go try and find a fucking pizzeria that's open, you prick. <laughs> it's tomato pie. It ain't pizza, you, you cock smoker. That's real nice. Say that to your fucking nephew. Oh, my right, God. Uncle Lou, have a good night, all right? Take care. Good night. Night. Go fuck yourselves, pal. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice guy, ain't he? He's a pleasant character. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. What can I say? Holy shit. Look at that. Look, it's even got the electric melon in it. Jeff Baker just posted. Look. Oh, jeez. MD. Fizzy, fizzy. It's an electric melon. Look, see? <laughs> That's the one I took the picture with today, Electric Melon. MD Fitty Fitty. Fitty Fitty for my aunt. She loves yeah, it. Yeah, she loves that shit. She does love it. Let me see. MD Fitty Fitty. Oh, Aunt Wahida, please. <laughs> <laughs> you had your time already. <laughs> Be buttoning over here. I'm going to have to worry about them fucking popping in all the time now. <laughs> see? It's like that old saying. <laughs> Like that old song. I thought Uncle Louie left. Give a nigga a rope and he wants to be a cowboy. <laughs> and why here? That's not politically correct. Don't say that. What's wrong with you? Because you might hang himself with that. <laughs> You're into uncharted <laughs> territory there, pal. I'm not even going to comment. Give them enough rope, they will hang themselves. <laughs> oh, my God. You're fucked up. That was true. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ. How's everybody doing out there? Hope you guys are enjoying yourself, man. We're going over time. Yeah, we did go over. We are going over right now. Right? Yeah, we are we're already over. 17 minutes over. Holy shit. And we still got so much more. Yeah. I think we overdid it today. <laughs> <laughs> We should save some shit for next week, right? Nah, fuck that shit. Yeah, I hear you, bro. We're having a good time. If you guys are having a good time and you want to chill, we're happy to oblige you. Hey, listen. Let's do the local spotlight tonight. Oh, local spotlight. Yes, we are doing local spotlight tonight. And uh, I'll tell you, he's a good friend of mine. This guy's an awesome dude, man. Um, John Uh, Norberg, good friend. And uh, we're going to talk about his band tonight. And we have some music to play. Probably right now. (laughs) What? (laughs) No, I'm saying we're going to talk about him right now. (laughs) I know, bro. (laughs) You said we're going to talk about him tonight. Did I say that? (laughs) Yeah. Like, it's coming later on. (laughs) No, we're going to do it right now. (laughs) Well, because, you know, you're like fucking splitting hairs now, pal. Okay? You don't have to be so, so... Militant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, militant. Did, didn't you call me that before? Yeah, I have called you that in the past, <laughs> pal. But that's good that you're that way because I need somebody to rein me in sometimes. Yeah, I'm the handler. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole, we're going to be on in fucking 30 seconds. Okay, balls. I'm like, <laughs> dude, listen. Okay, balls. And I'm sitting here fucking shutting his fucking speakers off this way. <laughs> Not me. I'm not like that. I'm not that bad. Anyway. <laughs> Local spotlight prick. Let's get back to it. Let's Fucking do it. prick. Right? 
Fucking sacrificial blood. Sacrificial blood. The name the name just gives me chills, bro. Does it? It does. Uncle Lou, <laughs> Glue, mm-hmm. you know what he would be saying, right? He'd be like, you guys need to get baptized. He's gone here. He's <laughs> already shaking. Dude, what, didn't Jedi <laughs> ask you to leave, Uncle Lou? I thought I kicked him in the ass. I, I knew you guys were going to have your Satan day now. No, I stuck around in case you get in trouble. Okay. Hey, listen, we're Whatever not going to get in trouble. Float. Whatever makes your boat float, Uncle Lou. Local spotlight. Sacrificial blood. These guys were formed in 2003, right? Had a few lineup changes, but, you know, most of the time that happens with, with many, many, many bands. A lot um, of bands, yeah. We got Arnie on guitar, Mike on drums and vocals. Evan was the bassist for a long time, uh, but he hasn't been able to play. So uh, John Norberg, my good buddy, he joined in 2016. Uh, and uh, these guys, have, they, they put out two albums, man. And uh, they did some splits with other bands. Um, they got a live, uh, I guess it's a, I don't know if it's a bootleg or not, but I know they have something live out there. Um, they've played throughout the Northeast as well as, uh, the Destroying Texas Festival in July. They played with, uh, Funeral Nation, Cyanide, and a few other bands. Uh, now check this out, though. These guys got good shit coming up, man. October 25th, Brooklyn, St. Vitus. With the legendary, legendary Manila Road. Really? It's with my friend really? Mark the Shark Shelton. Yes. They're fucking playing. Nice. We should go to that prick. Yeah. 25th. We're gonna have to. Be jackass. If I'm not playing, we'll go, prick. All right. As long as you fucking drive, prick. Of course, I have to drive. You ready for another shot, dude? <laughs> He's hammered. Yo, you ready for another shot, dude? Well, I'll tell you what. We can get this next song. Yes, we're going to play it. And me and we're going to put the music on. Roach going to do a fucking shot with me. He's going to come back incapacitated because he can't even talk now. Anyway, listen. We love supporting local bands, up-and-coming bands, underground bands, especially bands from Jersey and the close areas of Jersey. Tri-State. We said Tri-State we're going to do, no? Right? Yeah. Pennsylvania too? Even though you don't understand what Tri-State was. Pennsylvania. <laughs> Are we going to do bands from Pennsylvania? Yeah. Right. Pensy is going to be included. All right. Good. So send us your stuff, guys. You know, this isn't Eddie Trunk, okay? <laughs> this isn't fucking <laughs> Junk Nation. You didn't have to... Listen, I don't give a name. fuck, dude. I'm the bully. I'm the metal bully. If I can't fucking bully Eddie Trunk, who can I bully? You right? Def- you definitely cannot bully what? me. Listen, tough guy. He listen. This. Listen. I, I, I'm not here. You can't see this, but I'm giving him both little fingers. Yeah, he is, and he, he, I love him anyway. You, I'm not here to, to fucking plug bands that have been fucking been there and done that and... They were big in the 80s, like this fucking guy does. You know, washed up fucking glam metal bands, hair metal bands, kissing Metallica's ass, fucking, you know, uh, uh, all these. Uh, come on, Mr. Big, I'm such a Metallica fan and loves Metallica, even though they played with Lady Kaka at the fucking Grammys. I, I know you love Metallica too, Roach. I like Metallica up to a certain point too. No, oh, there's some albums I like. But when yeah, they did that there, Lady, Lady Kaka shit, they lost me again. And they did Death Magnetic. I was so fucking happy. I was like, they're fucking back. This is like they never left off from Man Justice. You know, I was like, yes, 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 great, great. And then they did the last album, which was pretty decent too, until they fucking butchered it with Lady Kaka. So no respect anymore right now. Not right now. They have to gain it again. You got a lot of work to do, Metallica, you fucking pricks. Right? So anyway, we're not Eddie Trunk. We will support local bands. We'll plug your fucking bands. We'll help you guys. That's what we're here for. And that's what he should be doing. So the bully's going to take the fucking the job from him. The job or <laughs> that, that he never the took. Ass. That he never had. <laughs> Fuck you. He took the dick in the ass already. Who? Eddie or me? Yeah, yeah Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's where he's at. <laughs> 
He's telling me don't call Eddie out. And he's going. Oh, he's old. Listen. All right. That should be the Don Jameson show because Don, <laughs> at least Don, Don at least knows metal, and, and and he and he's into real metal. Eddie ain't into real metal. I like some of the stuff he's into. I like Kiss too, up to a certain point. I even like the first two Angel albums. Oh my Do god! Do we know? Oh my god! I'm turning into Eddie <laughs> Drunk. Yes, you are. Oh my god! Help me! Your fruit is coming through. Me now. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody out there? You know, I was at the last Kiss concert. Oh, yeah, you're still not for the... Yeah, yeah, I saw Eric Singer. He walked right away from me like I had the plague. All right, well, just get more fruity. That's because I'm dangerous to Kiss. Oh, are you? I could shut them down tomorrow if I wanted to. With everything I know about Kiss. Can you suck up a little more? Hey, you know, Eric and me, we were good friends. We were good friends until Gene got to him. Once Gene got to him, forget about it. I'm still friends with Ace, though. <laughs> Me and Ace went to Taco Bell last week. I had a good time with Ace. Ace is all right. Peter's all right, too. Everybody's the, all right. That Tommy Thayer, though, no, fuck him. They need to get Ace back in the van. Because... Because Tommy... I'm dangerous to kiss. <laughs> well, Tommy Thayer didn't want to talk to you? No, I didn't hear a word, singer. <laughs> they walked away from me like I had the plague. Oh. Like I was the walking dead. Walking dead, huh? Yeah. And I keep bumping into the fucking <laughs> microphone. <laughs> All right, Eddie, get the fuck out of here. You had enough of my time. All right, get the fuck out of here. Oh, Just my God. Let's, let's, good. Let's, let's play this song before Alex Jones shows up. <laughs> it's just sacrificial blood. Sacrificial blood. The local spotlight for the night. Beware, I live. And their song. Beware, I live. You fucking prick, play it.
Hello there. Yes, hello. How you doing? Yeah. How are you, my friend? Good, good. Good. I want to order some food, man. My, I'm hungry like a motherfucker up in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell yeah. You know what time it yeah, is. Go ahead. What you want? I just smoked it up a blunt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a oh, half okay. hour ago, now I'm gonna go down, man. Shit. <laughs> Word. I'm gonna get um. I want. I'm in the mood for some ribs, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but you on the match? You a question? You got them boneless ribs, right? Yeah. You you you. Is it like the um like the mac rib? Oh no, the boneless rib. The red yeah, meat. Yeah, it's, like, it's like the mac rib from McDonald's. You know, like the patty, soft, no bone. Yeah, no bone, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. like I like bone once in a while though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll hear you. You know what kind of bone I'm talking about, nigga. You know what's up? You know what's up? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. All right, now how about some um wings? You want some what? Wing. Chicken wing? Yeah, I want a hot wing. Alright. Uh you you want chicken wing, right? Nigga, I say hot wings. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the hot wing. I don't have the hot wing. You talk about buffer wing, man. Right? I don't have it. You ain't got that? No, nah, I don't got that. You gotta yeah. get with the t- you gotta get with the times, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand, yeah. You know, you know me and man shit, I come up there all the time, you get the hot wings. Yeah. Shit, I know what I'm gonna do now. All right, call me back then, all right? Call me back. You sound handsome. What's your name? Huh? You sound handsome. What the fuck was all that noise, man? Oh, that's a DJ. The BJ? We, I pop, Who's giving I you BJs? Body, huh? You need, you, you know, you, 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 somebody giving out BJs or you want a BJ? <laughs> you know what's up, my nigga. You know what's up. What you doing? You you partying up over there? You partying? Yeah, I was party a little bit. I'm gonna come down there, motherfucker. I got some big titties too. Some big titties. You like? Call me back, right? right. Call me back. All right, my nigga. Uh, how can I help you? Yeah, hello. How you doing? All good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. I need to get some goddamn food up in my belly. I'll be doing better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course. Um, yeah. The order that you would like to make is this for pickup or delivery? I'm gonna come pick that shit up because I ain't waiting for y'all niggas to get here because I'm gonna know you're gonna take 45, 50 minutes. <laughs> I see. Oh, okay. Up? Then that, what would you like to order today? I want to get um. I want to get some some rib. Sure. You want but the ribs with I, the long bone or the little short? Oh, bone? I love bone long bone? bones. You said long bone? long bone? I I love a okay. long bone. How long? How long we talking about? You want the small order or the no, large No, I don't like them small. Thing? I like them big. The bigger the better, like nigga. The you know what I'm saying? The size? Okay. So you, Shit, yeah, you I could a take 12 inches. or a large order? I could take a 12 incher. Hey, let me ask you a question. Can I get some of that soup too with that? Which kind of soup? I want that um the creamy one. I forget. Do you know the name on the cream, menu? Um, cream of some young boy. I'm sorry. Cream of some young guy. Cream of some young guy. That's the name of it. I had it already. As for system, you didn't have any order before under this number. Um, do you know the name that it appears on the menu? Maybe cream, you know the number cream, that appears on the menu. It's cream of some young guy. Is the name of the soup. It's you nice and salty. With that name? It's salty. It's, it's warm and delicious. Um, for sure, we don't have any any soup with that name. Um, Nigga, you got cream of some young boy. I mean, some young guy. No, we don't cream have that. Cream of some soup. young man. Nope. No. You was talking about no, we don't have that long bones and long dongs and all kinds of shit up in that motherfucker. How about all right, how about some hot wings? Hot wings. 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 You know, yeah, we do have, we do have buffalo wings. You got buffalo wings? Yes. You do? 
these niggas in the other restaurant, they don't never have that shit. Never. Is it good? It depends on your taste. It's good? Can I put some cream of some young guy on it? We don't have that, miss. Well, you got to get that shit from me. You know what I'm saying? Got to get that shit. Well, miss, I cannot get something for you if we don't have it. Well, I'm going to come down there for that 12 incher and I'm going to teach you all about to come a song young guy, okay? Sure, see you here. Okay, I'll be there, baby. Be ready. But anyway, we're talking about puppies and gravy and everything lovely in the chat. Yeah, all nice and <laughs> bang. Oh, my God. No, you're not, Christy. I'm coming over. I'm going to Jet's house. You stay away. <laughs> what about Betty? Who? I don't know that Nikovsky. Oh, well, she's got issues. She got things she's got to take care of. Oh, right now I'm a free man. I'm a free man until free. she takes care of her. Uh, Is that why you jerk off so much? Because I think of you, pal. Oh, I thought it was just because you're a free man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking clown. Oh, jerk off. We appreciate everybody sticking around so long. Man, we went over time, man. Definitely, we did. Yeah. Try to keep it, hopefully, next time. Or other times. Within time But, but we, what it is, now, we have a lot of... Dude, you know what it is? Is that now we got we got our... You know, got it going now, dude. Think so? We got all of these fucking, you know, segments, and we're doing all kinds of cool shit. So you think three Paranormal, hours? Paranormal, Craptivity, LaVey. I mean, maybe we should go to four hours. You know, we we'll let the listeners talk about it and send us some suggestions. Let us know. You think we should stick to three hours or do four? Looks well, like everybody enjoys it. If we do four, then we have to go five. Then after five, we no, have to do six. No, four is the limit, tough guy. No, I'm just saying. Four is the limit. That's what I'm saying. Four. How about let's stick where we're at? <laughs> Hi, I'm I, had to, I, had to, I had to use three words that had a W in it. <laughs> so, the, 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 the big up. word with the W in it with you, pal, is wife. That's why you're saying <laughs> stick I know my to wife. three hours. <laughs> I love my wife. I know. <laughs> It's not that bad. I, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, okay, pal. You wish it would be. Okay, tough guy. But it's not. There's some... I let guys in the chat next time. You guys got to keep it wholesome. I mean, come on. Wholesome? <laughs> what about the fucking pictures you just posted? <laughs> me? Yeah. It wasn't me. I just posted Why'd it. you get... I posted that thing with the... That got me kicked off Facebook. Yeah, exactly. That's because uh, Jane Souls, that's Robin Souls. It was all your fault. She wanted to see it. Well, she wanted to see it, but in any case. <laughs> she saw it all right. You guys want me to fucking <laughs> post it again? For everybody who missed it, all right, let's do it. For everybody who missed it. This is what got me kicked off Facebook. And you have to be on MetalMessiahRadio.com. On the it. chat. That's right. To see it. To see it. You can't see it anywhere else. But do you really want to see it is the question. And it's kind of funny, but... <laughs> it's hilarious, dude. To us, because we got that fucking toilet yeah, humor. You know, toilet humor is right, my friend. All right, there's... Wait, but on. we love it. And they love it, too. Because they're sick people. We only attract sick people. Yep. Only sick people would listen to this show. The show's a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> It's no, a fucking mess. It's not that much of a mess. I want to see fitty people in the chat. Fitty. Because we can't see who actually listens. All right. Well, there's got to be a way. We got to talk to fucking the cola nut collector about that. Yeah, the cola nut. <laughs> <laughs> I like these nuts up. The un. Serving up the un cola. <laughs> 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 oh, you don't 
don't want to know. He's making the encore. Out. Where is he at? Where is LC? Oh, he's is somewhere. he picking cola nuts again? <laughs> <laughs> Is he looking for he? Well, what it is? No, it's a, what he's doing is shaking his maracas. Again. No, but what it is? It's a, it's a it's a lengthy job. It's it's not an easy job because he only looks for the hairy ones. So, <laughs> <laughs> holy! <crap. laughs> he's got to find the fucking the color that's the hairs on him. So, takes him a little while. Did anybody ever call out the boss? I don't know. Did anybody ever call out the boss? Well, somebody left recently. Well, that was that was a pretty. Story. That was pretty gay, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was gay. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't do that. Come on, man. Oh, that's him. That's whatever. I don't know. I don't know the whole situation. Yeah, I'm so. not going to mention any names. Just like I won't mention <laughs> the names of that fuck that fucking unfriended me uh, <laughs> from the other radio station. Oh. <laughs> I can name him. Prick. No, don't don't <laughs> even go there. He's not worth it. You know. You sure? With him staying there in his one fucking town with his band for the past fucking uh, <laughs> thirty years. His name starts with the G. Chiho Bunch Ayasna. <laughs> Chiho Bunch. There you go. I just posted it again. Look, guys. That's what got me <laughs> banned. Doug Calloway says he thinks he knows who reported me for that oh, photo. Yeah, I saw that. I'm going to ask him why. Where is Gal- Callow Gay, anyway? I don't know. You know what he's doing? Pushing ink. No, he's fronking. <laughs> <laughs> fronking. He don't know what fronking means. It don't matter. We know what it is. I don't think anybody in the <laughs> chat knows what fronking is. Hey, daytime you I, do what, listen, what um, Doug Calloway is <laughs> doing. Let me tell him what it is. <laughs> let me tell you. Because we have to let you in on the inside jokes. Because if we don't let you in on the inside jokes, you know, it's not as funny. You got to know so you can fucking laugh, you know. And uh, so anyway, Frank, <laughs> <laughs> and this goes back to the 80s when I was in high school, right? Because when I was in Perth, I'm like, look at Jeannie, Jeannie. Oh, when he was look just- at Jet, she's going, ew. <laughs> she's on a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty nasty, man. I don't think I would get near that. Anyway, Frank thing is um when I was it was in the eighties. I think it was the late eighties, man. Eighty nine or whatever, eighty eight, something like that. You're only twenty five at the time. The black. <laughs> thank you, pal. The black people, the fuck the hip hop culture and the rap people and all that. Black people would they would say you're fronting, you're fronting, you're front. Your fronting means like you're bullshit and you're full of shit. Right. You're full of shit. You're no, not going to go that. through it. You're not going to do it. You're fronting. You're, you're fronting. Frontin'. Well, we had some <laughs> pretty fucking <laughs> ignorant people in my high school in Perth Amboy, right? Yeah. Do You had some people that they, they, Think about they, it, they though. couldn't fucking <laughs> Let it sink in. pronounce shit. Let it sink in. I'll get do an How IQ test against you fucking any day of the week, pal. You think? Any fucking day of the week, I'll you score try it? higher on an IQ test than you. Is that from the headlines? Absolutely, fucking, absolutely, absolutely, one hundred percent will fucking score higher than you. That's anyway, it. we're gonna do that one day, motherfucker. We're gonna take a fucking IQ test now, and we're gonna post it on a fucking the results. <laughs> and the if results. I lose to you, you I don't know. We're gonna have lose. to think of something, we'll, and we'll film it. You would definitely. We'll lose. film it, and we'll we'll make me do something really fucking stupid if I if I fail. I You're actually, gonna think of something to do. You, I'm gonna make you dude, drink a fucking I'm like whole. Dude, wealth of fucking. Are you? Wealth of infra- what? Wealth of cock. Useless information. <laughs> Useless. He's a wealth of cock. Useless information. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wealthy useless cock. <laughs> I am very smart. Are you? Not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I will bury you. Keep telling yourself that. I don't have to tell myself. Keep telling that. yourself that, prick. You keep thinking that. Keep telling yourself that, prick. This no, is why you guys I'm tune smarter. in to hear two drunk guys I arguing. Am <laughs> I am definitely smarter. Yeah, you think? Do you yeah, think? Absolutely. All right, we'll see. Absolutely. We'll see. We're gonna do as it, so, guys. As long as you don't have oh questions my God. about like fucking fake. No, <laughs> you don't have. <laughs> choice they ask the questions they ask i, I, I know you have know, nothing I to know. say about that i know i know people out there anybody in the chat what do you guys think should we do an iq test me bully versus roach and we'll make a contest out of it 
I think the bully would be embarrassed. And then what we'll do is we'll make the loser do something really fucking stupid, and we'll film it, and we'll put it on YouTube. How about guys. how about we always do something stupid anyway? <laughs> the whole fucking show is stupid. <laughs> the whole fucking show is a mess. What a fucking mess. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Four, right. four hey, hours. I'm down, I'm down for it. Four hours of fucking retardation, metal retardation. Yeah. Here. We on this from, fucking show. We went from like, how are we going to do three hours to now we're going overtime. I don't know, but Alan Johnson's in the chat now, and he came in Is just he? to say, do it. He wants to see us do the motherfucking IQ test. Alan, Alan, who do you, you Alan, who do you think would win, Alan? You know it's a roach. No. If, Alan will say that the fucking... It's the, the guy. It's the guy who excited his, his favorite band is the one with the higher <laughs> IQ. Oh duh! And your <laughs> favorite band is Slayer. Oh. oh, Slayer is not the devil. Oh, so now you're trying to kiss it up. Kiss Slayer is not the devil. All right, I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Telling the truth? No, you kissing the fucking up to truth. fucking Alan. Telling the fucking truth, you're man. You're kissing up to Alan. No, I'm not kissing up to Alan. Alan's you just, my. You just said it. Alan's my friend for years. Everybody heard. I don't have what to kiss up to Alan. Came out of your mouth. Alan's my friend. Everybody heard what came out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they don't see what goes into your mouth that night, pal. Or yours. <laughs> yeah. I have a wife. I have to go home to. Yeah. You got nobody. The poor fucking woman. <laughs> The poor lady. She's looking hiding under the blankets. She's going, I hope they and go. And she does, She's too. going, I hope they go and overtime. She does. And four hours overtime tonight. And she, <laughs> seriously? And she does. I go, I go in the bed. She's like, she, she, she says something even more. She says, the candy store is closed. The candy store be closed, nigga. You ain't getting no pussy. Shit, the last few years, it, it, it was... Never open. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> nigga, you ain't getting no pussy. Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> Not like that. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a fucking world. Yep. That this fucking show would even exist is, is <laughs> crime against <laughs> humanity. All right. That's it. I think oh. Roach. Roach, you want to do another shot live on the air? Huh? I'll, yeah, I'll do a shot. You're going to be able to drive Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, my God. Taco Bell. <laughs> Why would he go Taco Bell? Because <laughs> your fat oh, ass is hungry? That's it. Because <laughs> <laughs> my fat ass don't feel like cooking, nigga. Oh, how about I take you to, to the Mamalinas over there? <laughs> yeah, Mamalinas is closed. Yeah, we got to break into Mamalinas and make oh. our own pizza. It's not like it's never been done before. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's all I need, man. Get busted Yo. in there. Yo. Besides getting busted Yo, with... Yo, hanging out with six. <laughs> get, <laughs> I mean, get busted with magic mushrooms. Get fucking put you remember in county six? for nine days. You remember six? No, you know I don't six. remember six. Come on. No, I'd rather nah, talk about magic mushrooms. No, fuck the magic mushrooms. Robin, talk about reality. Robin Souls <laughs> likes magic mushrooms. Right, Robin Rocks? Robin. You like magic mushrooms. Who likes magic mushrooms in the chat? <laughs> Tell me. I want to do some shrooms with the bully. <laughs> you don't want to do shrooms with the bully, trust me. Dude, you, you don't even fucking need that nonsense. I know I don't. I, but I like them. <laughs> oh, my God. We're I think it's just an escape from reality. Yeah, boys. Look at Genie. Dude, look did at you, Jet. Hey, I'll tell you mushroom what. Mushroom tea. Yeah, that's all I need. I don't know. How about mushroom gravy? Mushroom how, gravy's yummy. How about meth? No. How about. Fuck with that shit. You know Rick Mathiason. Yeah, I know Rick, of course. How about. He was posting stuff about. I don't know what he was posting. I don't want to know. Hey. People, people <laughs> Dude. have their own things, and shit happens. Yeah, I know. But right? Hey, how about how about hey, uh, you can't even talk? <laughs> how about that? You can't uh, even speak. Oh, I can speak. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, try, uh, I'm trying to hold back my words oh, because because yeah. I'll come smack you with my dong. Listen. I have never heard of someone saying that the neighbors 
when I do something are getting in my head. And they're man, talking to me in my head. Shit happens, man. You know? Anyway. Oh, Jesus you know Christ. What? Hey, hey. hey, Bob. Remember you were like this when I mentioned... That's like Elegant Allen said. He goes, I can see the movie now. Metal Bully and the Roach go to Taco Bell on mushrooms. <laughs> that would be <laughs> fucking great. That's uh, like Harold and Kumar yeah, go to White go, Castle. Go to White Castle. Yeah, I, I went to Castle last night with fucking Jeff Baker. All right, so you got that. Bully and Jeff Baker go to White Castle. Oh, we're going to end up in Speedway. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably end up in Speedway looking for fake Mac ribs. I mean, How come you ain't getting no fake Mac ribs? McDon- <laughs> McDonald's has fucking uh, fake pork in their Mac rib as it is. Now you're going to go Fuck to McDonald's. a fucking Speedway and get fake, fake. <laughs> Mac ribs, <laughs> but you love them. Not even. Nah, I but actually, love them. I gotta tell you, gotta be honest with you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them in the Speedway. The last time I got the fake Mac rib from, I didn't like it, man. It was like the pickles got funky or something. You, I don't think you should put pickles on shit like that, man. You, you want pickles on it? You, you put it on at home. You shouldn't put pickles on anything, <laughs> <laughs> especially yours. He likes putting pickles on in his ass. He just he doesn't like I, putting no. them on anything. He I likes don't putting like them in his fucking at ass. All. He likes putting them in his ass. He gets the fucking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He I'm gets the big bottle don't of the fucking him. ones. He gets the refrigerated ones. The bla- I don't know, not the Vlasics. <laughs> the Jewish ones. I can't remember their name. Batante or some oh, shit. Oh, now, now, now they have to be racist. <laughs> <laughs> they can't be the Jewish ones. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> they got little yarmulkes on them. Like a pickle. A little black. No, that's called the circumcision. Oh, you Christ. <laughs> Oh, but it's true. Don't know. He does. He gets the big fat pickles. <laughs> Who does? He likes them big. <laughs> Yo, and your ass. Oh my God! No, oh, that was me. <laughs> he, he doesn't even. He doesn't even lube up. He says, "Fuck it, I'll use the vinegar." <laughs> but it burns. That's why it burns. It burns. Nobody wants to talk about the burn. Where the fuck is FJ at? Oh, my gosh. Speaking of the burn, where the fuck is FJ at? I think he's sleeping. FJ, man, you really fucking disappointed us, man. Is he napping? He's not even on the earth tonight. He's He's not not even even at Nuzios. He never even came into chat once tonight, man. What the fuck, bro? Not even at Nuzios. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he had a hot date. I don't know. He's cheating on me. (laughs) Are you cheating on me, FJ? He had a hot date with a fucking meal. He's cheating on me. Terrible. That's oh, right, Lord. Oh, my gosh. Everybody has skeletons in their closet. <laughs> I have Roach in the closet. <laughs> when are you coming out of the closet, Roach? Huh? I'm not. You're not? <laughs> you staying in? No, I love the closet. Do you? Yeah, it's dark. It's quiet. Nobody <laughs> bothers me. <laughs> oh, I, I sit it, there. Uh, with that, I, I think it's time to say good night. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> every, every <laughs> you want to go on the shot, pow, on the air, on the every, shot. Every time they open the door, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> every time your wife sees you coming out, she goes, oh no, she jumps into the covers. <laughs> oh, right, so let's close out. With- <laughs> Come on, cucaracha. The cockroach. <laughs> the cockroach, that's what he said? Yeah, the cockroach, James, James Rivera. James Rivera, he yeah. christened him the cockroach. Come on, are you got it ready or what? We're going to say goodnight. It's late. Yeah, we got nothing We're going to sleep. You I'm going to put on a nice Bigfoot movie and go to sleep. Anybody like Bigfoot movies, I suggest. If you have never seen the legendary Legend of Boggy Creek from like... 1974, I think. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Pretty creepy. You want to watch a newer one? Check out uh, Abominable. Lance Henriksen. It's pretty fucking sick. It's like uh, Alfred Hitchcock's. Um, what the fuck is that one where the where the dude is watching through the window while the shit going on? Fuck, I can't remember. The fucking jerk off. The fucking voyeur. Yeah, he's watching people, but shit's going on, like murders and stuff. 
Damn it. I can't remember now. I think it was called Bobby Lucas. No, oh, really. It was, I'm serious, man. It's kind of like that, but with the Bigfoot in it. It's really, really good. <laughs> no, it is. It's got hot chicks in it. I think it's got some titty action. He's looking at him through like a fucking binocular across the building. I mean, can you blame the guy? The dude's in a wheelchair, right? What are you going to do? I guess. I mean, why would he be looking if he couldn't rub one out? Why would he be looking through the binoculars? Would you? No, not at all. It's like punishment. It's like punish yourself. What are you doing? Are you oh. ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to say goodnight, guys. Because the road is too drunk. No, I was looking for a song to play. Well, isn't it there? Is it there? Yes or no? No. Where'd it go? Space. No, it didn't, man. Come on, you <laughs> fuck. It's right there. Look. Yeah. Right there, you fuck. Right? Yeah, we played it already. We were playing uh, it. We'll back it the fuck up then, you stupid. Right, was it playing while we were talking? It probably no. was. No one us with our luck. Nope. It uh, was not. Everybody, Metal Bully and a Roach, we wish you a fondue. Do. Not a fondue. No, definitely not a fondue because <laughs> that would hurt his fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> fondue. It'll, it will burn. And you don't want to know about the burn. The hot cheese will burn. Nobody, nobody talks about the burn. It burns. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, you guys. Love you guys. You're sick. You're all sick people. And we love you. And we love you for that. Good night. I'm overwhelmed. I'm for Clemson. He's for Clemson.